Hey! Football! Why are we saying football? Oh, this is too low. This is ridiculous. Ah, that's better. Hey, how you going, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Danny's making breakfast. You can see her in the background there. There she hey. is, making breakfast. Hey. Uh, welcome. You can't hear anything? You should be able to hear something. I think everybody else can hear something. Can you hear something? If anybody else can't hear, let me know. But yeah, cool. I was going to say, this. My, my thing says... Yeah, alright, there you go. Uh, welcome. Well, this is this is our first stream of Mist. We're going to play some Mist. We have never played Mist before. I, I, other than the fact that Mist exists... Oh, God, all I know... Yeah, all I know about Mist is that uh, the picture looks like it's set on an island... And that it is apparently hard, and I don't know in what way it is hard. All I know is it is hard enough that doing it without walkthrough is apparently virtually impossible. That's what people say. No idea about what goes on. Haven't seen anybody play through it. We got nothing. Mm. Now I will say, to be perfect, to be completely honest... You in do the, know something? In the year, like, 1998, I played about four seconds of Mist. What?! You never told me this. Do they call you Nancy you because you answer too many questions? Oh, do they call you Trank because you Trank too many Trank, Trank, Trank? Ah, oh, thank you. Um, Alright, so I, I played about five seconds of Mist at one point as a child in the 90s. Um, Amnesia? That's a wildly different game. Mist is what I'm thinking yeah. of. Um, Mist is like, well, that's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried I'm worried we're going to get stuck be <clears throat> before even finding a puzzle. Mm -hmm. But we just had that problem in Midnight in Salem, so it won't make us feel that bad. Uh, but yeah, so Mist is like, it's like the classic PC puzzle game. Like, Mist came out originally in 1993, I think. Um, maybe, like, the version we've got is from 1999. It's a, it's a slight re-release. <laughs> so, you know, it's fancier than the 1993 version. Um... But Mist is one. It's one of these games, right? It's just like, just one of these games that it's, it, that's it's like in a classic. Games before you die. Yeah, yes. right. It's one of those classic. Danny, how I keep pulling you in. How are you so off camera? What's happening? You're just like not in frame. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play some Mist. Uh, but for, I mean, presume we'll do, we'll do a quiz first, right? Warm-up quiz, yeah. Warm-up we, quiz. We have to do it on computer oh, now. Oh, do we? Because, yeah, right. remember, they changed um, the website, so you now have to sign into Google for it. All right, we're gonna, let's get a quiz. Uh, you don't just type the word quiz into Google. I mean, sometimes you do. Go away. All oh, right, I'm going to put it over here. Yeah. All right, Danny, you gotta, uh, shall I read the quiz? Because you're eating? I mean, oh, I'm eating you have, too. You have missed notebooks. Should we have notebooks for this? Or oh, we should definitely have a notebook for this. Okay, okay. I can see a notebook and pen over there. Yeah, right, there That's good. Okay. Am I reading question one? Yeah. In the fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk, whose blood did the giant smell when he said fee fi fo fum I've never liked this. Because it's not much of a rhyme, is it? Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of an English mum. I'm an Englishman. <laughs> also, how can he tell that it's English blood? Is he guessing? Is he just like, ah, look, I'm over England at the moment. It's probably going to be an Englishman. I'll say that it's an Englishman. I'll seem really cool. Look, i got to be honest. It's impressive enough that he was able to smell the blood of a tiny person. Maybe he couldn't. Maybe he just saw a tiny person. And he was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in this guy's head. I'm going to play a mental game. I'm going to be like, I can smell your blood, kid. Oh. Lava lamps were invented in which decade of the 20th century? I mean, they're such a 70s thing, aren't they, lava lamps? I was going to say a 60s thing. Well, I was going to say... Well, I agree, because I was going to say, if they're a 70s thing, then they were invented in the 60s. What, do people know this better? You want to say 60s? 
I don't know, 60s are just the array of colourful swirls. Lava lamps seem to fit in with that. You associate... Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go to the 60s. Woo! The 1960s. Got it right. All right. Your turn. You know? What is the only metallic element that is liquid at room temperature? And what are the two metallic elements that are almost liquid at room temperature? There might be more than two. I can't guarantee that. Ah, but there's two that are classically, like, just and, above. And what's the non-metal that is liquid at room temperature? Probably a lot. Liquid at room temperature? No, there's only the one. There's only one non-metal that's liquid at room temperature? Crystal gases. Or solids. Depending really? on what they are. Really? So mercury is definitely what they want for this. We're still in the easy section of questions. Gallium is one of the... Uh, Almost liquids at room temperature. you got to increase it by, like, a degree to make it a liquid. The non-metal is bromine. What about iodine? Is that gas at liquid temperature? It's a solid. So what about the fact that you can just have iodine? In What's that? Water. Is that a suspension of iodine? Pretty sure it's just a solution, yeah. Interesting. And um, the other one... Cesium, isn't it? <laughs> No, uh, ga no. Well, gallium and bi bismuth. bismuth. Maybe it's cesium as well. Oh, thank you. I don't, I don't remember exactly when I cut it, but I think it's an okay-ish length now. Problem is, it does a really cool curly thing when it's not brushed, but the problem is it looks exceedingly unbrushed. I wish I could maintain that cool curliness, but I don't know how. <laughs> All right. How many musicians form a nonnet? I mean, that seems pretty easy. Nonnet. What number looks like nonnet? We're still in the easy section. Yeah, nine. Let's hurry through these. One more easy question. Which branch of mathematics derives its name from the Arabic term al-jabr? Yeah. Yeah. Can you guess which branch of mathematics comes from the Arabic algebra? <laughs> Now, calculus is the one that came from dentists. Alright, get out of here with all your joke answers. We're clicking algebra and we're moving on. Alright, we're on to the intermediates now. No room for silly guesses. No room for silly guesses here in the intermediates. Uh, yeah, we'll show you exactly what we mean. We're the, going straight into things we don't know. The Tarkeen Wilderness Area is in which Australian state slash territory? The Tarkeen. Yeah. You, do you know? Joke answer that. Yeah, joke answer that. You don't, you even, don't, you don't know what's going to be funny. You don't even know what are Australian states or territories. <laughs> yeah, those were the easy ones. Mm. We're now doing the... the... <laughs> <sighs> I have no idea. Have you heard of this? No, I've never heard of the Tarkin Wilderness okay, Area. Where would we have a wilderness area? Surely uh, it's, NTL Queensland. I reckon, I've, I reckon it's Tasmania. Ah, oh, Tasmania. For a wilderness area you've never heard of? That isn't called a national park, it's just a wilderness area. Is Tasmania big enough to have a wilderness area? Anything's big enough for a wilderness area. Uh, is an Australian territory. That's an Australian state, Tasmania. Get out of here. Uh. Yeah, we have states. <laughs> we just only have a few of them, and they're huge. They're very, very big. We have six states, two territories on the mainland, and they're massive. Danny <laughs> is eating Vegemite this toast. Vegemite on toast. And I was eating Vegemite on an English muffin. So we're just go north. Sounds like Northern Territory. Uh, right, I reckon it's Tasmania. Up. Okay. It's Tasmania! Oh, whatever. Whatever. In which state is Cooper's Brewery based? <sighs> Brewery. Cooper's Brewery. 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 Coopers. Brewery is an ugly word to say. Coopers? Hey, everybody at home, take a second to stop and out loud say the word brewery. And be how disgusted at your own mouth. How many syllables do you put in it? Uh, I don't know. It's Cooper. The fact that it just says state makes me assume they mean Australian, but I'm surprised they didn't specify. Yeah. Cooper's is an Australian brand, isn't it? Doesn't Cooper's Sounds have a Tasmanian tiger like on it? No, it's Cascade. Oh, it's Cascade. Well, let's say it's Australian. Let's say it's Queensland. I'm going to say South Australia. You yes! said South Australia. We got it right. That's how you Just work. Just in time. If you have a group of seven people, you pretty much can't go wrong. Um, wetsuits are generally made of what synthetic rubber material, starting with N? I mean, I can think of only one. Oh, is that rubber? 
Yeah. Yeah. A oh, neoprene. I've never oh, heard of neoprene. I was gonna say nylon because then I didn't nylon, like it. Because that's wild. Neoprene is good. I've never heard of neoprene. It's neoprene. What is neoprene? Does See, okay, imagine preen. Right, you know what preen is. Mm. Do a new version of that. Mm. What is John Birmingham's collection of allegedly true stories of life in share houses entitled? I don't so know this. Modern Australian literature. Maybe, might uses not be. the term share houses, I'm assuming. Yeah, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm not going to know this. I've got nothing. Anyone know what a collection of allegedly true stories of life in share houses yeah, is entitled? Yeah, can someone come up with a funny pun based on that? Because it's probably right. It's probably right if you have a funny pun. Living with the enemy? Is that a funny pun? I don't know, it's almost a funny pun. Learning to share. I don't know. Let's just check and see if it's funny. Sunny and share. Oh, I love it. He. Oh, it's called, no, that's famous. It's called He Died with a Falafel in His Hand. Oh, that's what that's about. Okay. Apparently that's what that's about. Last of the mediums. Ooh. In Celtic mythology, Selkies are people who can change into what type of animal? I think I know what a Selkie can turn into. Uh, horses? No, I think that's uh. a Kelpie. Damn. Oh, the seal one! The seals. Ah, A seal. Although I feel like technically they can change into a bunch of stuff, Selkies. Mm. I think Selkies aren't people who can change into seals. I think they are seals who can animorph. Are they the ones who need skin? Yeah, Selkies might take your skin. <laughs> okay. Do Selkies take your skin? Mm, who knows? Okay. Ooh. If, hard questions now. Uh, Alright, we're on to the hard questions. Here we go. <clears throat> If Prince William becomes King of England and doesn't adopt a new Renial name, he will be King William the what? What numbered William will he be? Now, okay, we've definitely had yeah. William the first. We definitely okay. had William the second. I want to say we've had four. I kind of think... William oh, my the fourth gut, sounds, I like that too. Sounds believable. So I'm happy to go he'd be William the fifth. But who is William the third? I don't know, some William. Who's Edward the Fourth? It's true. William Williams are a bit of a blank spot. So yeah, I want to say V as well. But uh, Williams seem to be a bit of a blank spot as far as the royals go. What did they do? I just looked at a list. They're of too my early royals, to like, Williams. We, we got at least no. They mix it. They mix it up. They're not that old. They're like between or after the Jameses. Well, there are some Williams. I reckon you're right. I reckon it's the fifth. Let's mm -hmm. go for it. Fifth. Got it right. What are the mound-like buildings that traditionally house sacred Buddhist relics called? I don't know. What are the mound-like buildings that traditionally house sacred Buddhist relics called? I can't name you a sacred Buddhist relic, let alone the thing that you put it in. You know, I reckon it's a term we've heard. I reckon it'll be like, uh, maybe. oh, you know, that's what a what is, mm. you know? And that Angkor Wat is, but you know, but I don't think that is what a Wat is. I think Wat is a just temple. I don't think Yurt Yurt's just a tent, isn't it? Uh, it's gonna be uh, something. I'm gonna take a look. You don't look. Uh, I'm not answer. looking. I'll see if we know it. Well, I've never heard of it. How what what linguist does it look very uh, Hindu linguistically or does it look very Chinese? Does it look very Japanese? Honestly, if I'd had to guess, I would have said Spanish. Ooh, it looks Spanish. It's not a very long word though, so it, it's ambiguous enough that it's believable to be anything. Hi, Pat. Trick. Um, do you think Please, you know this one? You think you know it? By stick all a, means, stick tell the answer. Us. Stick the answer in the chat if you think you know. The answer is so foreign to me that nothing you put is going to look silly. It's not McFly. He's a dog. Doesn't hold any Buddhist texts and he's not a mound. Um, or Buddhist relics. It is a stupa. I've never Good heard. Good job. Is that where the phrase stupendous comes from? I don't know. But we, we got it right because you got it right. So <laughs> thank you for increasing our score. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> okay. Good job. Music industry identity Ian Molly Meldrum's home is a shrine to his love of what country and its history? Oh Sorry God. for how much Australia is in this. Is this is a very Australian Molly quiz. Meldrum is a very Austra okay. it's an Australian music icon. So Your undergrad Asian art history class? Oh, dang. Yeah, that's appropriate. <laughs> okay, so Molly Meldrum, what country does he love? What country would he love? Well, he does always it have a cowboy hat It could be Liechtenstein. It's not going to be America. It wouldn't. Be, if it's America, that'd be pretty ridiculous. Oh, 
What country would he like? I mean, I reckon it's gotta be something weird like Greece. That's not that weird at all. I just got no much, idea. There's too much history for it to be Greece. Come on, it's gotta. Be... What would it be? What would? He what do we like? know about? What do we know about Ian Molly? That he's really Australian. Yeah. I don't know. Scotland. Maybe he's that kind of Australian. I thought he was Aboriginal. Really? Am I going crazy? Really? Probably going, I'm probably going crazy. I mean, no, he could be. Oh, no, he doesn't look like... Actually, I have no idea. He's just a weird looking dude. <laughs> you played Mist in 1995 and always loved it. I mean, I'm oh. glad to hear it. Cool. But... I know what happened in my head. What? I think I just pictured the hat. And pictured Ernie Dingo. Oh, that's a very different <laughs> I think I just, got the, I just got the hat in my head and went, Ernie Dingo, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. That's a really different person. A completely different person. Well, I'm, I'm really, you saw a guy in a kilt today? Okay, sounds like we should go for Scotland. Yeah, okay, I, yeah, welcome I did a very to weird thing in my head. No, neither of us have played Mist. All we know is difficult puzzles. We have no idea what we are getting in for, but uh, we've got two questions of this quiz left and then we're going to start playing. The so. answer is Egypt, by the way. Ah, Egypt, I thought it would be something with a shorter history than that. Yeah, that's what I did. I pictured the hat and I pictured Ernie Dingo in my head. That's ridiculous. I that's just pictured the hat. Actually ridiculous. What did Ernie Dingo present? Like, travel TV shows. Like, get a Getaway? Is that the right one? Did he ever present a music show? Not to my knowledge, but... I mean, he is an Australian TV icon. He's probably done most, but mostly his was travel. Yeah, I must just be doing a weird thing. Ooh, which one? Which version of Mist do we have, Billy? We have the 1999, which I believe is Mist Masterpiece Edition. Cool. All right, two more questions. What very British drink is comprised of a secret mix of liqueurs and herbs with a gin base? What's you, you do that, I'm going to find out what's beeping. Old 2D version. 2D seems easier to manage. No, no, it's, it's okay, McFly. Sounds like it's an outside the apartment smoke alarm. A very British drink. Liqueurs and herbs with a gin base. When I hear herbs in a very British drink, I think of Earl Grey. But with liqueurs and gin, what is an Earl Grey based gin? A very herbaceous alcohol sounds like a thing, but I have no idea. Does anyone know? Real mist. Okay. I saw, I did see when we were purchasing it that there were some uh, up and coming vr -y ones and that does sound pretty cool. I am somehow yet to play VR anything. I think it's our next door neighbor's smoke alarm. Oh, really? Well, that's annoying if they haven't done anything about it yet. They're probably not home. How long does the smoke alarm go and is there a real fire? Good question, man. We have to... These are the two pertinent questions. We have to call Strata about a smoke alarm. Uh, yeah, do you know this which very British drink? Secret mix of uh, liqueurs and herbs with a gin base? You know, Pim. I guess Pim's cup. Ah, well done, Pim's. Forgot that was a thing that existed. Pim's I never cup. would have gotten that. Coca-Cola, iconically British. Now we're in Australia. And speaking of... Which Australian newsreel featured the laughing kookaburra as its iconic logo? What does that even mean? What's an Australia? What an no Australian idea. newsreel? What are they talking about? The news? Was a newsreel? What is a newsreel? Is that not a paper? I don't know. Man, that beeping is annoying. Uh, I don't, I still don't know. Looking at the answer, I'm it's still It's Movie not... Tone News. Movie Tone. Oh, news A real. short film of news and current affairs, formally made for showing as part of the program in a cinema. Okay, cool. So that's a very old-fashioned question. Wow. All right, there you go. What a weird ending. I mean, it's always good to have a note in a quiz that is... Well, I didn't know this because I'm just too young. <laughs> I gotta plug in a thing. But that's no excuse. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hope you guys can't hear this beeping as much as we can. 
It's terrible. Ah, I'm in the way. All right. What if we're the only ones who are home? It is Monday morning. Yeah, but there's also a lockdown, so I hope they're home. Yeah, good point. Yeah, we just hope you can't hear it that much. It's horrendous. Uh, I don't know where my headphones are. Oh, what have you done? Why have you thrown your headphones away? Yeah, I'm just wondering, is it going to be our responsibility to call Strata and tell them no. there's a fire? Is there a fire? I mean, I don't trust smoke fire. alarms. They've never gone from there's a fire, and they always go from there's not a fire. But... Ugh. No. Definitely no smoke. Ugh. But it would also be really bad. I don't want to join the ranks of people who Twitch stream while the apartment starts to burn behind them. Ah, thank you so much for following. Oh, I saw one like last week linked on Reddit, maybe a couple of weeks ago, of someone who, I don't know what they were doing. They were just lighting, I don't know whether they were smoking or something, uh, rolling their own cigarettes, but they just had a pile of paper and it caught on fire. And they threw it over in a corner to try to fix it, and then the corner just caught on fire and the whole room caught on fire. It was very upsetting. Uh, so yeah, there's at least one. As soon as Billy puts out that fire, we'll get started with mist. I'm really, I'm really nervous about this. I'll get my notebook as well, so that I'm all ready. We have not played mist before. We have no idea what we are getting into. All we have heard so far is very hard, we'll need notebooks, we'll likely need walkthroughs, which, I mean, that's going to be your job if we need you for that. Uh, and uh, at least once in this chat so far, that finding the first puzzle could be a challenge. So, okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, I hear door knocking happening. We're just trying to stop the mysterious beeping noise that is going on in one of our neighbors' apartments. So how's everyone else going? How was your weekends? Oh yes, don't poist, don't poist spoilers. Uh, yeah, because yeah, we got nothing. This is a fresh experience. Just help us have the experience that we should have. Three mile hike, nice. Nothing. Uh, that, I mean, there's, there's obviously no one home. Mm. I can't see any fire. I don't know what you do. Should I call Strata? It's not the worst idea. No spoilers, no back seating. Uh, maybe. I think that I think no no spoilers. Yeah. But we're happy to like if you have hints, you can tell us, and then we can ask you about hints. I think is the kind of thing. Yeah, we'll definitely ask if we need hints, but there may well be points where we are so far off base that you may feel compelled to tell us you recognize that you've seen us oh yeah that's uh that would definitely be something i'm wondering that as well so yeah we definitely occasionally invite some backseating it's not that bad let's find out yes i've got my notebook so all all prepared is memory an important i mean i don't want to say that are there points where in this game, if you didn't do something earlier or didn't write something down earlier, didn't remember something, that it can completely screw you over in future? Do you guys have the option to turn on to save your Twitch broadcast for 30 or 60 days? I'm gonna guess we probably don't, but that's Bill's department. He knows all the technical stuff. As of right now, all your hints are jokes, unless you're looking up a walkthrough. This is fair. They won't screw you over and we can go back and read it again. So cool. It might be inconvenient, but it won't destroy us. That's good to know because with older games, you can never be sure. No soft lock. I like the sound of that. 
Cool. Well, I'm going to think that our one and a half, almost two years of playing through Nancy Drew games will have given us the skills that we need to deal with frustrating repetition. It was doable at a college age with some walkthrough help. Yep, gotcha. Yeah, understood. I hate that zucchini problem. Cool, Bill is on the phone to Strata, telling them about the alarm. Oh yeah, uh, it, yeah, that's absolutely true. Um, if we don't, if you don't make it to Twitch in time to watch them, we do post them on YouTube with some degree of punctuality. Oh god, you gotta keep telling me about your weekends. I'm getting flustered. I'm not used to being on my own for this long. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, even just uh, little baby ones like Hugo's House of Horrors. I love Hugo's House of Horrors. That will destroy you if you didn't get the right thing. You have no reason not to take the ruby, but... Oh my god! That's so cruel! Ah! Rude! Getting over the results from the anti-match quiz. Yeah, I didn't actually participate in this one, but I did like going through the answers. That's fun. 14 hours, 3 days in a row. Woo-hoo! Missed fans are cool and laid back. Ooh, this is intriguing. Time for bed for you. Fair enough. Whatever time it may be for you, wherever you are, I believe that it is somebody's bedtime. Have a good sleep. <laughs> oh no. Still working, oh boy. Posted to the Mist subreddit. Oh cool, I didn't even consider that. I would never go to the subreddit at this stage, knowing nothing. Oh dang. The game is set up to be able to run through the levels again due to reasons. Yes. It stopped. Cool. Well, I'm fucking now on hold with the strata. Oh. Oh, we've got to follow. Thank you. Ooh, eating ice cream. Lovely. Okay, so now we're on hold, but it's just stopped. I'll pull back a little bit. Baffling. So now that the alarm's stopped, can you hear those kookaburras outside? Oh, yeah, I, I want to start playing. I, uh, I... It's terrible. But I don't even know. I didn't even set up this game for uh, its settings. The kookaburras! La the kookaburras were laughing just a moment ago. Chocolate shake with Oreos? Oh dang. I like the sound of that. I've got some, uh, I, I, we very rarely have ice cream in the house, but at the moment we have some cookies and cream uh, in a tub and I may on some streams just whip it out and start eating it straight from the tub. You heard bird noises? But noises? And you've never heard of kookaburras? Oh man! That's a wild one. You got YouTube it. They're the the Australian icon bird outside of emus. We got cool birds. Some of our birds are still murderous, but oh, I'll just see if they call back. <laughs> sure. All right, let's go. Do it. We're wasting what is too much my time. Favorite flavor ice cream. Uh, it depends on the mood because I like things that just have giant chunks of cookie in them. But I also love anything honeycomby and butterscotchy or toffee-ish. All right. This is our mist layout, everybody. And a bathtub. <laughs> I mean, that's the dream, isn't it? Now, I wonder mm -hmm. if I should put a little... Before the game appears mm -hmm. in, in this big section above us. Mm -hmm. Up there. Should I put a thing down the bottom uh, here that's just like, this is the current hinting situation? Oh. To give people like a... So people don't have to come up and be like, oh, what's the hinting situation? Yeah, okay, like, sure. All right. That could be fun. Let's do All this. All right. One more delay. 
Um, I'll get the game open first. Oh, okay. So that people have uh, something to look at? Yeah, yeah. Pull our volume down. Uh, the game might be... Oh, I don't know why I did that. I don't know if this will work, actually. What? I don't know if I can play with the stream while the game's open, because it's a bit of an old game. I think it runs full screen and weird and... Oh, really? Ah, we'll see what happens. Vlog. Uh, no, it doesn't immediately launch into the intro. It had a menu. Oh, don't even talk about that one. I have seen a YouTube video of that one. Oh, it's loud. It's loud? Apparently it's loud. Alright. Is this the intro? No. No, this is... Okay. okay. Um, yeah, it's a full screen. Well, let's just see what happens if I... Alright. So first of all, was that a bit too loud? What do people think? Nope. Ah, but not super loud. Well, I can definitely pull it down a little bit if... Oh, what is going on? Yeah, trying to have both things open at once seems to have killed Streamlabs a bit. I'll just move this up a little, and I'll put a little message down the bottom. Alright. I can see messages. Sh messages are showing up on the stream, but not in oh our thing of God, the chat. It's so dumb. All right, we're gonna close the game again. Get back to normal because yeah, it looks like our Streamlabs uh, died a little bit as a result of that. Wow! So hopefully Far you out. can still see it. You can still see us. Are we still here? Oh, we'll definitely watch the intro video. I mean, yeah, maybe if Streamlabs doesn't break completely. Yeah, Streamlabs is a little broken now. Holy hell. Well, we can't see the chat except on our video. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. My God, oh. what the hell just happened? Oh, okay. Oh, it's frozen again. What the heck is going on? Streamlabs, you're horrendously bad lately. We're just trying to play a game. Okay. Yeah, is this how the game starts? Oh my god, it's freezing every few seconds now. This isn't just so broken. Alright. I put the sound down a little bit. I'm not touching it again. If it's bad, sorry guys, you got bad sound. Uh... Okay, next, I want to add this little piece of, 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 of text. Your first stream, so it's a curse. Yeah, it's your, we, we can blame you. I'm comfortable with that. <laughs> well, who are we blaming, me or them? No, uh, that girl in algebra. All right, that's fair. Uh, okay. <laughs> We're going to type in. That does feel like a 2010s game mechanic. You're not wrong. No unsolicited hints uh, that we may ask for help. How's that? Sure. All right. And then at some point you're just going to change it to help? No, just in general, right? And I got to fix the colors because mm. that looks horrendous. We're going to make the text color. Uh, black. Does that work? Oh, that's horrendous. Bad. That's also bad. Can we Red give it a background? Oh, we give it a background. Let's give it a background. Let's give it like a. Let's give it like a gray background. Gray background. It's already on a gray background. Yeah, but this will be a proper. I mean, we'll pull that. Look at that. That's much better. Looks exactly the same to me, but okay. How does that look, everybody? It is words. It's fine. Uh, the longest journey or dreamfall? Nope, got none of that either. All right, let's okay. try this again. It should be good. We're gonna open up the game now. If you complain about the sound, you're banned. <laughs> I 
to make this happen. My god, we've been streaming for 40 minutes and we haven't played the game yet. How did this happen? We became bad people. That's horrific. Okay. Good old riddle. Is that right? Good to know. We're just gonna let all this play this time. Da, 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 da. Oh, cyan. Taking bets on how long before we ask for help and how long before we embarrass ourselves. Okay, that was all. Let's all do right. this. So this is Mist Masterpiece Edition. Oh, they've given us hints already. Look at this, see? Oh, did you know that there's a secret? Reminds me of The Witness. It, it, I mean, yeah, they probably stole it from The Witness. Gosh. Uh, here's a sunken pirate ship. 45 minutes? That sounds uh, very generous. Here's a sunken pirate ship. Here's two giant Stop cogs. Stop spoiling that make it and press new game. No, this is going to be important. Now. This is the kind of stuff you need to know. There's a there's a there's a water silo on top of the mountain. I'm getting there's a, a zeppelin. Uh, there's a temple. There's a big big tree, and a bunch of other normal sized trees. Um. Oh look, there's a little Gooby. What's it? <laughs> Take some time to explore and enjoy. That sounds like us. Take time to know her. All right, let's go new game. Yep. Yeah. Y S T Mist. I realized the moment I fell into the fissures that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed. I must admit, however, such conjecture is futile. Still, questions about whose hands might one day hold my missed book are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. I love it. I'm excited. Oh, this is the missed book. Oh, no. This is the game. Okay. Okay. Um... I guess I'm going to click. Alright, it's missed. Cool. Great. <laughs> Do you have mouse control of no, anything? I'm not doing anything. Okay, cool. Alright. Ho, ho, ho. Look at this tiny video in video in video. Alright, that's the island. Oh, oh, we're on the dock. Oh, okay. Oh, now it's going to play the same thing that we just saw? Alright. Sure, sure. We're okay. flying in. Hey, island. Hey, big tree. Already, this seems ambitious for a moderately first of its kind i mean first of its kind is a bit of a weird phrase it was pretty that, first of its but... kind this was a this was a technological marvel when it came out the original mist oh. some weird sound okay how do we play looks, looks like, like this will turn walk us. around okay Look like I can interact with anything there. We probably should have found and read the manual for Mist first. There was a manual? I mean, it's a game from the 90s. Of course it's made. Mm. There's a pterodon in the sky. Look at this thing. Look at this pterodon. Oh, yeah. Look. I'm not. I know that they were best selling everything's Mist and Riven because they're the answer to a lot of trivial pursuit cards. Pull that lever. Anything change? No idea. Uh, I better put it back the way it was. Oh, that opens. Huh. Whoa, okay. Okay. This is quite something already. A mystical pool. I think... Shall we say hi? This looks a little familiar to me. <gasps> oh, what is this? Okay. 
can't look at it any better. We can just hide it. There's either a pool of mystical water or not a pool of mystical water. Okay. Um, I will ask before we get going for anybody who uh, who knows how to play Mist. Are there any interaction buttons other than left clicking my mouse? Like, are there are there secret keyboard? It's one of those games where it's like, yeah, press J to open up your journal. You know. Or should I just click and experience the game as is? Single click only. Brilliant. Okay, that's super helpful. Oh, what's this? What's this? Settings. Dimensional imager. Topographic extrusion test, 40. Water turbulent pool, 67. Marker switch diagram, 47. Do you think I should write those down? Uh, yeah. We're going to have a book of so many notes. We can fast travel, we shouldn't need to. Sweet. We're not going to fast travel. Come on. Who do you think we are? How long do you think it's going to take us to play this? Yeah, how well, long is Mist? Assuming that we are not going through this at maximum possible oh, speed. We're going, we're going at minimum speed. Oh, you're writing out in full. No shorthand here, everybody. I mean, I don't know what's going to be important. Alright. Cool. Doesn't seem like I can do anything else. Oh, there was a button. Oh, nice. It's set on 67 now, because that's a water turbulent pool. Okay. What would you like to make it instead? The topographic extrusion test? That does not sound interesting. Are you kidding me? That sounds so interesting. It's going to be a map of the island. Okay. Oh, that was a good thing. So now if we go back, give me your topographic extrusion test, please. All right, fair enough. Oh, that it's the island. Handy. No, no, it's just random mountains. Yep, interesting, interesting. Okay. I mean, I thought a switch diagram sounded important. All right, well, let's go back and do that. You can speed run it in minutes for six-ish hours. All right, we're going to take more than six-ish Oh, hours. we're going to take 10 or 12. It's going to be great. It's going to be a couple of weeks of mist. Uh, all right, we got 47 then? Yeah. I wasn't sure if the th what those numbers were referring to were going to be inside this room. Mm. Which would have made the writing down a lot less important. Ooh, okay. What is this? That's the switch box. That's it. Remember you were uh, pulling a lever yeah. before. Alright. Oh, there we go. That's what's up. Maybe later on we'll find other numbers that we can do. Be like set it to twenty one to get this thing or that thing. Who knows? Okay, well we're out. Let's leave that up. It was down when we found it. Exactly. So let's leave it up. But then we'll never know what we've changed. Okay. Well, no, I wanted to go this way. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to the gears. Yeah, I agree. Left. What's oh, that's nothing. All right. Up the stairs. Oh, there's another one. Oh, okay. Should we turn them all up then, maybe? Who can say? There's the broken pirate ship. What do I do with this gear? I'm gonna turn this up and the bottom and the one at the bottom. Okay. When we saw the thing in the Hologram fit pool. Did you notice which direction the switch was? Neither did I. I couldn't do you want to go back it. and check, or do you want to just walk this yeah, way? Yeah, let's give it a go. All right. Come on, magic pool. Let's have a look. It oh, is up. up. All right. All right. Let's keep exploring. All right, to the left. Oh, that's something. Catherine, I've left for you a message of utmost importance in our fort chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve your message. Oh, okay. Well, we've already seen two. Do you want to start doing a tally? Sure. A marker switch tally? So then that 47 exists just so that you definitely know what a marker switch is. I guess so. So we've seen two. There's also a third one right here. Okay. Alright. 
Well, we'll have to search the whole island. Should I also make a note of where we've seen them? Yeah, I suppose. Hmm. So maybe rather than a tally, just start writing down where they all are. Like Doc, Gear, uh, Oracle. Oracle, okay. I Look. hope you're going to remember. Turn that one up as well. Yep. Oh, oh dear, I don't like open. that. Look at that horrendous door opening animation. It's great. Don't complain. Uh, do we see it? <gasps> oh, it's a baby a... planetarium, not a horrific dentist chair. Okay. okay hold on, if we sit in normally, yeah, we just see nothing. Whoa. Oh, we oh can input gosh. a date. Okay, let's turn. Let's close. Uh, I wanted to close the door. What is the most challenging game you have played? Goodness, that's a tough question. I mean, I've finished Dark Souls. So that's a kind of challenging. Uh, Alright, we're gonna need some inputs here. Oh yeah. I have no idea, that's such a broad question. The most challenging game you've played. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, honestly, it's probably stuff that we played as a kid. You know, it's probably like, <laughs> you know, playing some weird Nintendo 64 game that was way too hard mm, for its own good. That's a good point. You know? Difficult from a puzzle perspective, probably Barber is You. Oh, Barber is You, it. yeah, we can't, we can't play it. That, that gets impossible. It's like, we can play it. It's an amazing game. I've supported it so much all the way up until it was released. I was looking forward to it so much. And it's so hard! We can click and drag those indicators. I assume the ones in the dentist chair maybe? Makes sense. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, we don't know what I'm putting there, so that's all good. Whoa! This is a map. Okay. Something important is on and top of the It looks like mountain. it's only covering places we've been. Sure, sure. <gasps> oh! Can rotate the tower? Okay. Ew. Oh no, we're gonna kill something. This is terrifying. Why are you doing this? Why? Oh, please stop. Ah, uh, Bubba is you. Plus so one. I yeah, followed, followed its entire progress from the moment I heard of it to the moment it was released. <laughs> as soon, basically, as soon as teleporters got involved, it became too hard for me. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, what? What did I just do? Ooh. Oh, hey man, how you going? Why? Hey, awesome. Bring me your Well, I didn't catch much of that. Not much of that. Who are you? Four player bubber is you, my god. <laughs> <coughs> oh, ridiculous. <laughs> Legend of Zelbaba? Oh, I love the sound of that. Oh, and a new trivia question. Um, it needs to be classic PC computer game themed. What is the name of Hugo's girlfriend in Hugo's House of Horrors? Oh, that's an interesting trivia question. <laughs> Alright, well, that was odd. 
There's the implication there that the page that was next to it, we put into that book. I would say so, and it sounded like he said, bring me red pages. It did sound like he said, bring me a red page. And being rescued, yeah, I thought I heard the word rescue as well. And yeah, not much else, except he couldn't see us. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. We found oh, stairs. Oh, I turned it into stairs. Okay, I don't hate that. Huh. Oh, this is a blue page as well. Oh, okay, a blue book and blue pages. Do we need to choose? Oh, we're locked in now as well. Oh dear. Oh, there's a fireplace here. Oh no, I hate this. What just happened? Oh no, I'm in the fireplace. Oh, good. <laughs> what? Okay, cool. Okay, that's interesting. We'll figure that out later. It does start with a P. Does she wear job gloves? All right, let's see who we got another here. another video, everybody. No, it's a human name. And she wears job gloves. Maybe Paige isn't the best medium of communication. Never, never. Yes. All right, man. I have the blue page. We know you need blue pages. I don't know if I trust either of these book humans. I trust this guy so much less than I trusted Red Book. This dude's a creep. Red Book's my friend. I love Red Book. Oh. I'm Team Red Book. Red Book was like. Oh, who are you? I need red pages. Could you save me? And this guy says, Who are you? I need the blue pages. You know someone named Persimmon? Wow. Wild. Okay. Um, now, here's my question, Danny. Do we go through the bookshelf? Not Patricia. Oh, look, and that's a picture of the door open. Okay. So, so that'll let us back out. Fair enough. Now, let's go through these stairs. Let's see what's happening. We're exploring. Oh no, wait, is this just That's me just going back, back in? Okay, okay. It's hard to tell what's a left and what's a 180. They're, they're marked the same it way. Seems pretty... And I thought maybe that was an entry, but I don't it, think it is. It seems pretty simple. Not like Nancy, where it's every subtle corner you have to run your mouse over. Not creepy at all. But I will say, this is exactly what Midnight in Salem was missing. Is that, like, this game knows exactly what images they down? are showing us yeah. every step. Whereas Midnight was look at was everything too 3D. And a problem. It was not good. Uh, uh, Penelope is exactly right. Do we go into this creepy little thing? Yeah, sure. Okay. We're in the library, right? Or are we not? Library. Oh, it's turning around. That's so cool. Okay, oh, now we're in the tower. I Great, see. maybe we can see how we want to turn it. Is that something we should click on? There's oh no. a key and a ladder. And the other one had a book. This is a book. book. That's, so this is what I'd set it to face. Okay. So I'd change the tower to be facing this thing. So okay. that's what we can see through the slit. Sure. Okay, but I don't know what we'd want to be achieving like that. Nope. The key. 240-221. Do you reckon that's the date that we need to go to? Probably it's not. 240. 240 uh, be the time. 221 seems a little weird, but I wasn't looking too hard at the format. <clears throat> Alright, 240-221 is some kind of key. First time playing, yes. Greetings from New York. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I know, there's a spoiler in chat. Well, that's okay. I just won't read it. Oh, there's a spoiler in chat? Just don't read it. Yeah. No spoilers in chat. No, no what? Uh, wait, it's over here. Over here. No unsolicited hints. We might ask for help, but no unsolicited hints. And we ne you never know what's going to be 
a spoiler, even if it's nothing that spoils a puzzle, sometimes just things that are we fun. Don't, we moments. don't even necessarily want thematic spoilers. No, yeah, because we don't know anything. We, we are completely going in blind. Like, we don't know anything about the game. Oh, yeah, definitely wrote it down. Ah, all good. It's very hard to know, like, what is a, a thing to say or not to say. But, yeah, we got nothing. If you, if you feel like you need to say something spoilery, uh, inst every time you do, instead write a scathing insult of the Blue Pages man. <laughs> my my arch nemesis, Mr. Blue Page. <laughs> Looks like we got pretty far. Uh, it doesn't feel like we've gotten pretty far. Is there anything you want to look at in the tower? Not really. It's all Janet's fault. <laughs> oh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, no, Darius, you're good. I just want to see now if we go out back to the tower. Oh, oh, long trip. Yeah, so the I won't do this multiple times because it takes too long to travel. Okay. Yep, we are looking at what I thought we were looking at, I suppose. Alright. And I'm assuming, hold on, just double check. After rotating the tower. Ooh. Oh no! Yeah, okay, that's not good. Oh dear. Oh, this isn't good. Okay. Do you to take a photo? <laughs> no, no, I can write these ones down. Right. Okay, so when I looked at the gears, it had the 240-221. Now I'm looking at, well, I was trying to look at the observatory, but instead I'm looking at the pirate ship. Uh, but if I was technically looking at the observatory, these are hints for the observatory. Does the tower give us hints? Or give us puzzle solutions? Now that I'm pointing it at the observatory, is this key giving us like a little puzzle or something? Good question. Oh, that's so that's so scary. And is that maybe what the red line indicated? Was like, that's going to have a secret puzzle. I don't know. How many times do we do this to see if there's more? <laughs> Oof. Uh. Alright, hold on. This. Yeah, it's only set red mm. pointing at that. That's now not red. I kind of want to check now that this isn't red whether there is no hint. You know? Would that be a waste of a check? Because it was red when it pointed over here as well. Probably, but you know what? Get it done. Let's, let's get it done. Let's get it done. I'm going to just check now. I think if my calculations are correct, there's now <laughs> no hint up in the tower. If there is a hint, I'll be sad, but let's find out and be sad together. Unless it's just the same hint because we didn't rotate it very much. Yeah, it is a minimum. We're doing a slow <laughs> run. We're doing a, a, a slow run of mist. All right, mist. There is no hint. No hint. So the red are the hints. Okay. I mean, hints versus clues. Really. Yeah, they're not hints, I suppose. Yeah, Look, this isn't even looking at anything. Beautiful. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so the reds are the only relevant things. Love it. Oh, oops. So should we try and collect all the reds? Yeah, absolutely. Were there more? I don't. You did a full rotation. Well, I don't know if it, I wonder. I don't know if you have to stop to see if it's red, or whether it flashes red while you're spinning. <laughs> Wait, what word have you have I love you blanked that great out there? formatting. Some serious. Scrap it. Scrap it. Yeah, you've you've you've, you've made Some it. Serious. Scrap it. Okay. Hope you all enjoy the sound. It's like dial up. Oh, hold on. Let's just see. Does it turn red as I go? Oh, it does. Oh. Oh, so we found the only two things. Okay, that's interesting. Brilliant. Because they definitely turned red before we looked at them. So. Yeah. But maybe if we go to the new places. Good point. Maybe that'll be something. Press the painting, Billy. Now, do we still do we have any idea what this is yet? 
No, I have no idea what this is. We just press things. It's terrifying. Minesweeper? Is it Minesweeper? There's just no mines. This is the safest island in the world. Did it. Yes, this is true. Our dog's name is McFly. It's a reference we were bound to get. Also, after we finish this, we've got the um, we've got the point and click back to the future game series, and it's awesome. Oh, that's actually very good. If people haven't played that, if you want a point and click adventure to play, check out the Telltale. Um, it was Telltale. It was Telltale. Oh, uh, uh, back to the Future. Fantastic. Oh dear. Blue pages. Okay. Not in great condition. Nah, this book's broken. What well, this one? It has been a while since I have heard only silence and I enjoy it greatly. I think for some reason I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how could I be unwelcome <laughs> in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful, but I think I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have ink linked to is horrid or disgusting. From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing, yet the water's blue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking, and yet that strange feeling again. Perhaps it is the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. Hotter than I would have imagined, it almost singes my skin, and I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived, and the sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red long past the sunset. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again, the feeling, and I am beginning to believe it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. Would you like to continue? I have had to return home due to an unpredictable natural occurrence more frightening than I have ever experienced. I was awakened by terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Explosions? Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky and I immediately left in fear of my life. I must remember to bring a mist-linking book with me when I return in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. I have returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. Sorry, I won't do that one. It has been transformed into a barren desert land with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently, the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind, I remember, has turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists and appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the falling meteors created this lake. Meteors or meteors? I say meteors. Yeah, I realised in my head I didn't like how I was saying it. Created this lake due to its circular shape and the jutting rock that grows out of the centre of the lake. Is that where we are? In the jutting rock that goes out of the centre of the lake? The rest of this world seems like desert, although I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Hmm. Oh yeah, enjoying the voices for Gain to absorb the words. Yeah, I had to reread the entire first page as I realised he was almost finished and I didn't get a thing. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through my ears and I have found where a few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Hmm? Last night I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned along with a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly the ground began to crack and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then the tumult subsided, leaving only a dull roar. Is it tumult or tumult? I have never said tumult in my life. That's wild. I have decided, however, I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Good to know. Heat. Harness. Even as the chasm has ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm that had been created. 
and now um, and have now explored deep into the crust of the planet, I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. <laughs> I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Cirrus and Achenach and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the underground. Danny, yeah. oh. I would like you to start here, mm -hmm. and I would like you to get older and older as you go until you disappear oh, no, and dissolve while like riding. That. That's what I'd like you to do. Right. The abundance of raw materials <laughs> here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some of the complete tools I knew I would be needing. I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials, however it seems as though I'll be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. I'm all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set and I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I will be able to have most of my additions to this age completed within one year. I so love working with my hands over writing. Oh, thing. Ages of man. Oh crap. Well, and I'm excited. Three Amazingly strong. A bomb. These, these pictures? Uh, yeah, we've got like a. Yeah, north okay. spinning this. North, north, got a north, north, north east. Got a bomb. To be one of my most prized inventions, I am extreme. Would never have imagined to come together. I doubt could possibly work with 14 instead. Completely. Oh, there's so much writing. I'm really fatigued. I am happy to, to I am leaving today DJ in order to bring, to bring back, back Cirrus and Athena. Uh -huh. I've got to enjoy, enjoy The age seems to have stabilized. I believe the meteors set off at a, a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust, but the tremors have become few. I've just noticed that a large amount of this journal has curiously vanished from the very pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Mm. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes in another journal. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered in another age to which I hope to travel soon. But for now, I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my accomplishment. Okay. All right, we've got a thing. We've got a keyboard. I just want to take a photo of this one. All right. I mean, you can draw it if you'd like. I wasn't going to draw it. I was going to, like, write down. Okay, you write down. Okay, so, like, C2. C3. E flat three. <coughs> uh, what note is that? That's an F. F, F two. B flat one. Alright. And hopefully we remember that. Oop, that's some kind of island. The crater. Alright. Cool. Yeah, is that where we are? Are we on the crater in the middle? Maybe. Interesting. Green book looks pretty. Green book. Oh, there's so oh, much. No. Hold on. Oh. I mean, those. There are only three that look intact, right? Oh, there's this one, oh, no, this one, four. and this one, and this oh, one. Oh boy. How are you guys yeah, enjoying we can the screenshot reading? And oh, and there's oh, this. Oh boy. Okay, this needs a photo. These need photos. These are. This is the fireplace. Yeah, this looks like fireplace. All right. Um. How interesting, so the fireplace is like right here in the room with us. They're not making us travel very far between puzzles. Holy crap! What is happening?! What?! How many of these are there? Why? Why? Okay. Does this keep going forever? There's far, 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 far too many. Okay, the, sure there's a specific number that we need to look for, because this is insane. Yeah, we have to look for a particular okay. number, right? Do you want to know how many books are intact? What do we think? There's another one, maybe. I don't know. 
I mean, I assume the ones that looked intact were going to be uh, the I don't want to know intact. how many books are intact. You want to click on them all? I think that's part of the game. Yep, fair. Doesn't look like any of these are intact anymore. Yeah, I don't think I'd have minded, but I'm just saying, it looks like four. Looks like four. Oh boy. Well, yeah, I guess we gotta read a lot. Uh, I see you are back to sleep. Ah, uh, fair enough. I hope you feel better. I've lost the one that we just opened. How? Well, which one had all the fireplace things in it? Is it the top right one? I, I wasn't paying much attention. No, that's oh. this. Is it the bottom left one? No, uh, no, that's this. Oh. It's not this one. Oh, okay, so Another I guess there's more than semi -intact. four. semi-intact. Oh, okay. Right. It's a big guy. Alright. Alright, do we want to read more of these? I mean, I guess we have to. Maybe we don't want to read them out, because that's taking too long. Let's skim. Okay, so very... Channel Wood, that's where he said that the other dudes were. I can imagine it's still amazing to see the water coming in the next one. small island, that's where there were trees, we could bring out the water. Uh, I assume they were built for some time or age. I mean, you discovered more about the land as people, but it broke it late. A group of monkey-like people. They're not okay. <laughs> okay. Mighty orange. I'm the ladder. Okay, met the leader of the monkeys. Old human. Okay. I bet you that's him. I bet you he's the old human. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh god, okay. Oh, there's too much here. There's so much, but we have, like, we, I'm, it's not interesting streaming. Uh, yeah, and for us it is 12.47pm. Monday right. afternoon. Yeah, I mean, we have to read it. It's not, it, sorry, it's not good streaming, but I, I okay. can't imagine this is unessential. Many years ago. <clears throat> Humans and tree dwellers lived together in this place, which was then, I'll give him a voice, which was then a vast island. They interacted very little. The humans dwelt on the ground and the tree dwellers lived high above the humans. Occasionally the island was disturbed by mysterious rumblings which happened randomly, some sort of tectonic or volcanic action, I suspect. Their sometimes slight, sometimes heavy tremors would only last a short time. Then they would stop, allowing everything to return to normal. Blah, One day, blah, blah. unprecedented. It got bigger. No, you said we had to read it. Don't blah 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 slowly. now. No, I am reading it. I'm just not reading all the words aloud. Fine. Lots of people died, but the island was sinking, and they tried to stop it. Humans who lived moved into the trees, and then they died. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's, that's the, story. the story. They doubt the accuracy of this part of the story. The island must have stopped all the time. Uh, it but the tree does like, hey, good work, humans. You did it. Cool. Why is there a mistake? Where? Seems interesting. Oh, yeah. As if he crossed out they were heroes of gods. That's mm. how curious. It's tightly rest asleep. We had expected you to come sooner. Interesting. Mm. Uh, he stands, uh, puts him away. Oh my gosh. He does a whole ceremony with these tree okay. people. Hmm. Oh, walks off the path. <laughs> yeah, he, just, he just jumped off mm. Fell onto a lower level Laying down at the dead end of a short pier like structure And then he lit the pier on fire Okay um, Dull green water now everywhere That doesn't shift colour Because the human's been killed in it Uh <laughs> Oh, they keep offering him stuff, food. Well, people, people have said that uh, they are totally fine if we read it out loud. I have lived on this world for three months off and on, and the tree dwellers have shown great hospitality. 
I'm even beginning to learn bits of their language. I've decided to return home for an extended stay with my loving wife and my sons and hopefully return with them. However, I'm sure Catherine will once again refuse. I think this age would be a wonderful experience for them all and at least look forward to how Cirrus and... Okay, so Cirrus and Akana are his kids. Okay. Have to curious inhabitants. Catherine is staying behind as expected. My sons have returned with me. This is blue and green. I don't know. Mm. Uh, and they enjoy this age very much. They get along very well with the tree dwellers and are picking up their language surprisingly fast. I have no doubt that it will not be too long until they can speak with the tree, bella, tree dwellers much better than myself. I'm leaving tomorrow to check on Osm Osmoyan age. Okay. Cyrus has suggested that I allow him and his brother to stay. Mm -hmm. Though the idea unsettles me, I know the boys are growing up rapidly. I bet you one of them was the old man. They were waiting for him. They said, we'll stay. You come back. He came back at the wrong time. They got, I don't know. It's all weird. It doesn't make any sense. The hospitality of these creatures is such that I can think of no better place to leave them alone for a short while. So I consent to their request. I warn the boys not to take advantage of the respect that the tree dwellers, tree dwellers have for their, I just say tree dwellers. Tree dwellers, fast. no. They seem to understand my warning. And I have faith they will follow it. Much to my dismay, upon arriving in Everdunes, I learned that Pran and her people are continuing to be menaced by the Chokdik. I fear for their survival and plan on returning to her shortly after checking on Cirrus and Akana here. See Everdune's journal for more information. After watching Cirrus and Akana, I see they are handling things very well, and I think I can put to rest any fears about leaving them in Channelwood again. And for a long time. Oh my god, just keeps going. How much more? Oh, okay. The tree dwellers seem slightly distressed that I'm leaving Hat. But. But are happy that Cirrus and Akana are staying behind again. I have been gone for over three days and have been to many different places. I had to tell Cirrus and Akana about Pran's death today, and they were visibly shaken, although they only remember her from their childhood. Catherine has suggested it would be wise for Cirrus and Akana to leave Channelwood for a while, and I have to agree they'll be returning with me when I leave again. I have told my sons that they will be returning with me in two days. They spent the entire night telling me of an adventure they experienced in my absence, and it was rather remarkable. It seems they constructed a boat with the creatures and travelled... boat. What? The, there's a broken boat where we started. Oh, true enough. And travelled some ways out into the surrounding waters. I enjoyed hearing them talk excitedly of their adventures, and I'm reminded of my own adventures as a child. I finally oh, understand why the tree dwellers have been giving me their many inks and insisting I write with them. Looking... Through some, through of, some my of my past, past entries, entries, I see now that the inks have mm. changed from the black I thought they were to various different colours. I've shown some of the creatures my journal and they laughed and howled. I did not know how they had such a sense of humour. Even now, as I look through this very colourful journal, I cannot help but laugh myself. Okay. So these were originally not written in colours and now they've turned into various colours. Sure. We'll be returning tomorrow so my sons are with the creatures for the last night here. They have told me they would like to come to Channelwood again and also asked if they can visit the other, some other ages alone. Though I will have to think over their request. I love this world. I believe they have proven to me that they are trustworthy and responsible. Catherine will also have to help me decide whether they are ready for travel alone. For now I must give my farewells to the creatures for I do not know how long it will be until I visit this age again. This is the future bridge. Okay. This is some kind of uh, pagoda and a windmill. Sure. That's it. Hmm. Interesting. We read this one. This is a different yeah. age. He talks about going back and getting them from Channelwood. Yeah, so maybe this is the one he went to. Maybe we should go to the right. Maybe we should read them in order. Oh, no. Just get an idea of how much there is. Oh, there's oh, so much and dear. so many constellations. Oh, I... <sighs> So we'll have to find a constellation and then come back here to see what constellation it matches up to. Mm. Like we'll put in a date, we'll get a constellation, that'll get us an animal or a mm -hmm. symbol or something. Oh, that's so much. Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were. Up a group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This Wild. is where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks and it was never too far of a distance. One day, another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this new person Branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock. Soon Branch discovered a place where he decided to live, also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly in their world and the water was always dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light breeze always came from the north and cooled the area down. This has a light breeze from the north as opposed to a super hot breeze from the north. On uh, one day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water, he noticed another boy swimming. Branch brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call the new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will. 
Will was soon a part of the group, and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world. At least, that's the story I was told when I arrived today on the island. Emmett, Branch and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing mm. happened. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, yet they obviously still feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day. I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in their world. They didn't understand, not that I expected them to. I still do not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as dictated to me by my father. I attempted to create a boat by writing it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I had hoped, I now have answers to a few of my other questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoying it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They've played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I've enjoyed studying from it. It is a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. The knights... What does that say? The knights are... Of oh, submersible. submersible land. The knights are absolutely beautiful here. I've made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Also, during the night, I catch glimmers of light from the horizon, which I have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people on far off islands and rocks. I should very much like to discover which I rather suspect it is additional people, which would explain the appearance of Branch and Will. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I have also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light towards the horizon, it might prove my suspicion regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its source if they have the means. Just as a pause for a second. Thank you for saying that, Darius. That's really lovely. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's be more toxic. Oh, I hate everybody. You're all the worst. <laughs> Is it gay cousins now? It's hard to remember. Yeah, gay math club was there for a while. When did the cousins come into it, I Jen? I don't remember. I know that we. I feel like we did change it at some point. <laughs> I don't like the. I don't like the cousin edition. Yeah, we're just. Uh, yeah, the our, our little group here is. I, want, I don't want to say surprisingly. We are really diverse and are we? really LGBT inclusive. Maybe we're not. Maybe maybe we're not diverse. Maybe it's all just a bunch of. And yeah. Definitely. Uh, every family cousins. has the gay cousin. Yeah, that sounds. I that sounds familiar. And so yeah, that that's all of us. <laughs> We're married and friends. <laughs> uh, I return with many tools that I will need for construction of the lighthouse. I've decided that once the lighthouse is completed, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now and are making great progress. The rock that we are building on seems to not be as secure as I would like, and I have had to alter my plan slightly, but those alterations pose no real problem. Light! Light! Sure. clap. <laughs> the boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. Mm -hmm. I estimate construction will be done within two days. And yeah, apparently, uh, apparently all the every gay cousin is a maths nerd. It's just the way it works. Which is just not right, because one of the things that bothers me is so often you see like on Twitter people be like, oh, I'm gay, I can't do maths. I thought that was bisexual people no, can't oh, do maths. No, bisexual kind of people can't do anything about uh, uh, um, yeah, it. Tw <laughs> Twitter by stereotypes are very they're peculiar. very strange. Uh, but no, and it's always like, no, what are you talking about? Do more maths. But I don't like this. As it, yeah, as it turns out, the puzzle community is um, riddled with queer people. <laughs> The lighthouse is finished. And that, that's all of us. And we are all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure wrought from the rock with their own hands. That evening, we powered up the generator, much to the boys' dread at first, and shined a great light on the horizon for many hours. I stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse, and in the morning awoke to observe the sunrise without being my, without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. It was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat when Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbours. <laughs> I feel pleased to leave this age. 
I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art that will have a more profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. I think <laughs> stone shipping. Oh, no. This is starting to look like, like that's the curvy path up to the gear tower. This is the boat that eventually broke. Yeah, okay. Is so that the or oh, is that the first gear? Kind of looks like so this is like. Ah, oh, it's hard to say. Uh, I think of it. This age is a gift to myself that I will wrap up and some open some day in the future, only to discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Besides, sorry, Chegal. Nope, can't be done. Oh no. Oh uh, yeah, and can't you're right. Out. I'm queer. No. I can't. Can be a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, like, we we started dating when we were 15, 16. We would have no idea how to date as adults. It I sounds mean, horrible. Dating's strange. It sounds exhausting. Uh, I will wrap up, uh, besides, it's the only new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age, and so much planning is in order. It's been ten years since I left this age, which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and there are many new faces I do not recognize. Branch told me it is not that it has not rained for seven years, and the cool breezes are back again. But they are all very content, they doesn't say but, but you know, and have been serving me with new foods and showing me new materials they have discovered. It even seems they have found gold somewhere. I see it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition, and it looks as if they have tried their very best to keep it at all. Yet I have noted that the entire rock was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimetres. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud with them what things would be like 40 or 50 centimetres in 10 years doesn't ten seem years. great. No, and then there's a bunch of constellations. Alright. <laughs> we read uh, this one. Yeah. But yeah, you're totally right. A contest so you can create the greatest impression on the other. Yeah, I was just seeing an, a relationships related post on Reddit like a week ago or a few days ago or something. And it did, it talked about that, about impressing someone as your date. And that just sounded so... Alright, Danny. One more? One more. And it'll be a contest of who can do the best impression. Of... What? I don't know. It's mm. just I'm just trying to repeat what was going on there. All right. Before arriving in this age, I was determined that it would be a journey to a world very different from my previous adventures, and it was. The sky here is dark and grey, and incessantly displays flashes of lightning in the distance. I met a very old man, another old man, with a long beard and hair that hangs to his waist. He is very feeble and has trouble even moving. This man has obviously been through very many things in this strange world, and I have learned many things from him. He has told me an interesting story of this world's history. Oh, okay. Uh, years ago, it was a beautiful city. That's a terrible voice. The rose are out of the water. It housed many people inside its walls, and the people had everything they wished for. The tr city was surrounded by three high hills, which rose higher than the city. Over the east hill of the city rested a large lookout post. The people of the city had constructed the post, expecting visitors to arrive from the east. The people had no means of travelling on the water, which forced them to merely wait for friend or foe. Can you take over? As time passed, friendly visitors brought rumours of an enemy that existed beyond the horizon. The people grew fearful, yet nothing happened. One day, the usually sunny sky became as dark as night, and black ships appeared on the horizon. The lookout post's attempts at peace were turned away, and the sentries there were easily overwhelmed. The ships continued to wreak havoc on the city, apparently destroying everyone and everything. Uh... After the foundations of the city were destroyed, the city sunk deep into the ocean, and only the lookout post remained. The black ship sailed away. The man continued to say that eight people had hidden and managed to survive through the attack in the nine oh in, through the attack. In the nine years since the attack, two of the survivors had died. He also said that it was rumored that ten years from the attack, the enemy would return to finish the destruction they had started so long ago. I'll read this bit, you can start there maybe. Sure. I've decided since hearing a man's story, it'd be admirable to say, or admirable, I don't know how you'd say that here, to save this civilization and stop the enemy's plan of destruction. I'm excited about the adventure that awaits me, and an idea has sparked in my mind to provide the needed defense for these people. 
I met Big the gun. remaining survivors today and I have begun work on a plan for protection. After a short absence, I have returned to this age with my two sons. Good Australian accent. Uh, they have as of yet. I'm trying to be New Zealand. <laughs> Travelled rarely with me and they are understandably excited to be here. They have grown considerably since ever, dune, since ever Dunes, and it is already obvious to me that they will be a great help this time instead of the nuisance they have been in the past. All three of us, along with four of the healthier survivors, began construction today. We are building upon the old city's ruins, which will provide a perfect foundation for our fortress. Um, uh, on That's a... shockingly hard. Mm. Uh, what's another... Uh, my sons have been spending much of their spare <laughs> time on the South Island, where most of my materials are stored. I'm very pleased with their intelligence, and their creativity is refreshing to see as they work on some small projects of their own. Oh, look. Stairs. It has been over four months now, and construction is uh, going well. My sons love the world except for its uh, grey sky. They detest the grey sky and tell me many times they wish the sky here were like this blue sky in mist. You're being asked about your breakfast chocolate. This is a, a picnic bar. Do you have picnic bars where uh, you are? It was Cave Goblin who asked, so yes. Oh, it is a picnic bar. <laughs> uh, the old man I first talked to tells me that the enemy is due... Pray tell is months. just uh, an expression for tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, that the enemy is due in four months. I feel we will be ready when the time comes. The man reminds me of Emmett in many ways, and I often wonder how Emmett and his people are doing. It has been six months of work and we have finally finished the fortress. A rest between the three hills, which are now only islands due to a rising water level that the people experience after the attack. Inside the fortress, I have designed a most intriguing device. It makes use of a technology called holography. Holography? Holography. Holography? I began experimenting with on my visits to Aspermeer. Mare, I cannot tell. Uh, it will be working in a couple of days after I compensate for some small miscalculations. This holographic device will enable the survivors to learn to use the fortress. The enemy is due to come soon, and I trust the fortress will provide sufficient protection for all of us. And taking a look, uh, we have developed this mm -hmm. with some dynamite, perhaps. Well, it should just look like that. <laughs> I think it's a sense of a track, so uh, unclear. The black ships have come. Oh, thank Their you attack for was substantial. Their weapons have been stopped, <laughs> and it appears they have turned away in defeat. I could not help but smile as I watched the boats leave. This is the insignia of the black ship right here. Last night, we had a small celebration, and the old survivors danced to their dances of old. My sons did not understand why the sky had not turned back to its original blue. The old man told them that the storms would never end until the enemy was destroyed. I assured my sons that a blue sky was not worth the risk of death. And they seemed to hear me. I have had a healthy adventure and have begun work on a new book. Once again, I must leave a familiar age in search of a new universe. I have begun, I guess. But first, I will have an extended time with Catherine, who I'm, whom I miss very much. I also must also return to the people of the Tide. I believe in my travels I have found a substance that will ease the pain of their bone ailments that they have long oh, endured. Yeah. I hope to return to the mechanical age one day and find the population growing and my fortress still strong. Though the sky may always be black, I am confident the people here feel a heavier darkness has been lifted from their shoulders. And there we are. Okay. Uh, so we kind of got lots of world building. That was really yeah, that was exactly, a lot legitimately, of world building. I, like I would, I would read that that sci-fi novel. I was, I was very much into it. Yeah. Like I love sure. this idea. It's kind of mysterious and fun and cool. But I guess we should get walking again. Yep. So we know now know that the fireplace... Yeah, it is connected to those things, but there were 200 of them. Yeah, there were like 200 various things. So we need to have a number. What about that, um... Ow. We got... Didn't we find 221 somewhere? Yeah, we did. By itself as a number, or no? No, it had It was like 221. Two, okay, let's not do that. Uh, yeah, 240 and 2, comma, 2, comma, 1. Uh, the dentist chair constellations, we found some things that could relate to that. Mm. You want to find some of those dates? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because we also haven't really looked around that much. <laughs> Had to step away, can we read all that again, just quick? Yep. Uh, planeswalker, something along those lines, yeah. 
Uh, and also, uh, yes, Professor Harmless, we, we, we've never played Mist. We don't know anything about it. Um, I mean, we do know. I mean, you can't be a human being and not know about Mist. We grew up in the 90s. We know about Mist. But um, yeah, we, we, we just, don't have we any don't info going in. We're going blind. And we just spent about 30 minutes reading books. Yep. Now, sorry, do you want to go back to the chair or do you yeah. want to keep exploring the island? Oh, um... I suppose it doesn't look like there's much more island to explore. Let's go... Oh... Change my mind, there's too much island to explore. Was that you clicking on it? Yeah, I can change it between green and red. Okay. Oh, what? This is the oh, ship. Oh, okay, that's fun. Nice little model. Okay, that's interesting. Got another one of oh, these, okay. want to mark that off? Yeah. That's near the model, I guess. I'm gonna write animals. Oh wait, back this way. Oh, oh. Yeah, they're oh. quite soundy. They're definitely put to do with the constellations though. Sure, sure. Um, okay, so you reckon we're going to have to maybe look at those three constellation-y uh, times and things that we've got, match them up to the objects, and then turn those things green? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. There is a big uh, spaceship bomb. Is this the future path? Oh yeah, this is the bomb mm. that was drawn. We've got another one. Can't open the bomb. Do you remember where we were supposed to input the number of switches? Back in the pond, in the um, in the in the in the hologram pond. Oh. We set the hologram pond to whatever the number of okay. switches is. Gotcha. <laughs> Terrible. Uh, you can tell us how to beat the game in ten minutes. Yeah, we've heard uh, that we. We did ask at the start, how long does it take? How long do you expect us to take to beat this game? And we did hear a couple of minutes if you know it. We, I, I'm very curious about that, but yeah, no, we got to get the full experience. Oh, there are living creatures. Oh, we saw her about at the start. There's what? another one of these. Okay, at the weird chapel. The electric substation. Did you go in? Yeah, these are the underground caves. Gotcha. This place is terrifying. What a good game. It's too much energy. Okay, that's interesting. So we can set the energy levels. Yep, okay, cool, cool. How many marks have we got so far? Six. We have got six. <laughs> I'll find a pattern for those. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Good to know. Don't really know what to do with that yet. Don't know what we want. Well, I've lost a bit of the geography here. Okay, we have not been to the clock tower. It's got a finger. Do you like it? Has the rule of always check the door you came through? Yeah, every time we turn around, we do see a helpful note so far. All right, so some amount of turning. Cool. All right. Should we pay attention to the time? It's 10.40. Oh, yeah. 10.40. Oh, what is this cabin in the woods? Found a cabin in the woods with a, another thing. Okay. All right, here we are. What is that Mario level? Good Ooh. save. Two, two, one, two, two, one. Ah, oh, that's fun. <laughs> Where's the mystery mix? Yeah, look at the Mario level on the left. 
Come so on. colorful. Well, let me. All right. Is the game broken? Oh, you're trying to do this. Well, I don't see anything else to do. Okay. Does that mean we know how many of these there are? Maybe, but... Let's give it a crack. What's what's over... There? Oh, oh was that the... That's, that's the, the Zeppelin. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe. Uh, I mean, you can try to just set it to eight if you want, but... Well, where are you going? Just seeing there's anywhere else that I have. That's the cabin in the woods. That's a substation. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, maybe. Uh, but yeah, who knows what areas we'll uncover that we haven't seen yet. But yeah, you can give that a try, and then we can um, try putting in these constellation things. Sure. Yeah, we we think that we've seen eight markers. Is there something sneaky? No, I, I think there's only eight that we've ever seen. So let's. We have definitely only seen eight. Whether that is all there is to see, who could tell? Also, how do we not like you know just be guessing this? I guess. What do you mean? Like, we put in eight, and if it does nothing... Then we'll have to do a recount, I suppose. Well, what's stopping us just guessing? Nothing, I suppose. Catherine, my love, I have to leave quickly. Something terrible has happened. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. Catherine, it's one of our sons. I suspect Akinar, but... I shouldn't leave the conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than to have left my library unchecked for so long. Well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You shouldn't have to use the books until I return. But... If you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. Oh, and don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, wait. And erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Cool. All right, we said if you want the access key to remember the tower rotation. Yep, we already yep. did. We found the two tower rotation things, I suppose. Great, great. So maybe we go by those dates and the we put them into the thing. The things, yeah. I think that's fair. That seems like a good next step. Also, ooh, Akana. And that was Blue Pages, by the way, in that message, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I believe What a so. creep. Everyone hates Blue Pages. I'm with Akana. I'm with Red Pages. Wait, what? Well, there's a different guy in the Red Pages book yeah. than in the Blue Pages book. I thought you were saying Akana was Blue He Pages is evil, book. but he's... No, no, the guy in that, in that oh. well, that was the Blue Pages book. Oh, was he? Yeah, I think so. Sorry, I have some level of face blindness. Uh, I'm not great at that. Okay, so wait, that was Atrus, who was the father? Uh, and I don't know. Akinar I don't know his Cirrus name yet, children. I think, but that was the father. And it's Cirrus and, and, and Akinar are his kids. Yeah. And I thought that was Blue Pages. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so what dates do we want? October 11th, 1984. October 11th, 1984. Oh, wow. Do you love how it breaks the sound for a second? 10.04 yep. a.m. Oh, sorry. All right, shall we? Yep. Okay. Maybe I'll take photos of this. Yeah, this seems like a good idea. <clears throat> No oh yeah, having the no subtitles is... Mm, yeah, true. Interesting. Yeah, spoilers. Don't tell us who it was Atrus. I didn't know that. I haven't <laughs> heard the name Atrus yet. Yeah, that is interesting. Because knowing a character's name doesn't sound like an important spoiler, but how would we know that name? Yeah. Ah, I don't like Therefore, these Therefore, I think it's technically a spoiler. Yeah, don't tell me Atrus's name. Just curious. I've never heard the name Atrus. Okay, January 17th. Twelve oh seven. Ah, oh, cool. 
5.46 a.m. January 17th, 12.07, 5.46 a.m.? Yep. Next. And November 23rd. Nine seven nine one. Wait, nine seven nine one. Yeah. Nine seven nine one. Yep. Six fifty seven p.m. November twenty third, nine seven nine one. Six fifty seven p.m. Yep. We did go 9,000 years in the future or something. Whatever. 8,000 years in the future. All right, that's all. All right, awesome. yeah, let's take a look. Let's see if those match up to the animals in the library. That's not the right book. January 21st, 1991. Important date. Important date. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this book. No, not that book. Uh, the top right one, wasn't it? Top right. I wrote top right in my notes, so I hope it's true. Yes. All right, so <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, you were definitely making a Back to the Future joke. So the first one looks like this. Okay, It great. looks like a little Southern Crossy. It's not that. It's not either of these. Uh, is it this? Yeah. Not quite. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, it's that's this. it. Hundred percent. So that's the leaf. See, Man, it's scary when the last one is that's correct. That's what we were going with. You can see how that matches to the leaf. August 8th, 2021. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Next. Okay, this thing. Okay, sure. Whoop. Ah! I apologize. It's not that. Nope. Ooh, it's that. You think it's this? I think it's a snake. It does look like the snake. Do y'all agree? Uh... Kind of have a snakiness to it. Alright. With a snake. Alright, and finally. And finally. Oh, that's a lot of oh, stars. That's a lot of stars. Okay. Oh, is that the bug? It's a bug. It's the it's the ant. That does look like the ant. Look at the ant. Leaf snake ant. Man, what Let's did people do one. before when they, when this game came out, people <laughs> couldn't. Screenshots just... with a hotkey and not a smartphone. Yeah. Yeah, we we have interesting saving methods. Sometimes I just type things into the URL of my phone internet, and that's where I store them. <clears throat> so that means we now have an access code of Leaf Snake Ant. <laughs> let's go to those pillars oh. and let's put in Leaf Snake Ant. Badger, badger, badger. Remember that. You know what? I I didn't see badger, badger, badger until after I'd seen the Harry Potter version of it. Badger, badger, mushroom, mushroom. Yeah, I I didn't know that was mushroom, mushroom. Oh, oh yes. All the, I know is Potter, 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 Weasley, Weasley, Snape. Yeah, that's all I got. Oh, it's Snape there. All right, Leaf Snake Ant. Who was the guy who did that? Who made the badger? It was the same guy who did Magical Trevor. Oh, was it really? I believe so. Oh yeah, I have no idea. Magical Trevor was back once again. All right, come on. What's his name? No, we need to know this. Leaf Snake Ant. Someone will know it. What was their name, everybody? Leaf Snake Ant. Leaf Snake That's Ant. A bird. That's an eye. Ant. Do we need to do them in order? Oh, I don't know. They seem to just stay green. Okay. Yeah, see, it's, it's yeah. now green. Okay. It's an arrow. Do we have them? It's hard to tell. Leaf. Leaf. I'm just looking for snake. Snake! <gasps> Something's happening, everybody. Oh, I love puzzles. I love puzzle games, everybody. Weeble, that's right. Oh, it came with a journal. Oh, that's Aww. so good. Uh, okay, that was a lot of sound. Cool. Uh, do you reckon that was the water level going down at the clock? Because that's now, that's now not watery. Did, did you see that? Mm. Wasn't that ship covered in water before? Maybe that means the actual ship is now no, Oh, maybe. Maybe it's about the actual ship. That also makes sense. <gasps> that's it's a, a ship. ship! 
It's a ship, everybody! This game is so good! Go into the ship! What else was a... In no, not to remember another fun Weeble song. I don't know! But... What about, um... Scotch Egg was actually invented in London yeah, in I didn't 1851. Yeah, I did that much attention to this. In a shop called Fortnum Mason's. Contrary to popular belief, it's not a Scotch dish. That's a relief because a Scotch Egg... It's not a Scotch egg. It's a song. Okay. It's a Weeble song. Good, you did it. What about Stephen Fry, National well, Treasure? Doesn't count. Um, go into the door. All right, we're going to the bloody door. Mm. <gasps> it's a journal. We found a safe space. Safe space. <gasps> Meow. Meow. Wait, are we gonna leave the island and go to a new place? Maybe. Are we going to a different Did age? We, we solved Mist Island. Do you go to different ages in Mist? I didn't know that we were going to go to the different ages. I think this is one of the other ages. When it was all just pointy rocks and maybe he's going to build a lighthouse? Yeah, there's the lighthouse. Okay, I get it. Do I just click on it? Maybe it's spinning too much. Yeah, okay. Let us in, let us in. Name me on the lighthouse. Name me in the lighthouse. There's the boat that's part, that became part of the thing and got stuck. Oh, we get to travel to these ages? I mean, I don't know if we do. Can you please let us onto the island? What's going on? How do we just get to see every last detail? Yes! Okay. Oh, I'm so excited! I don't know how we're going to get back. Yep. Yeah. No idea. Oh, does it auto save or do we need to save? That's a good question. We should save. Oh, how do you save? I'm oh no, we I should spend, save. I spent the entire game worried that if I press escape, it'll just quit. Oh no, yeah, how do we save? If oh. I hit escape, is it going to quit the game? It's an old game. So sometimes you, you feel like maybe I should be pressing F1 or something. Like a classic old 90s game. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, yeah, if I hit escape, is it going to quit or is it going to save? I'm so scared, everybody. I don't want to. It's a game from 1993. Oh, this one's from 1999, but still. Okay, it does It does say in the 2019 one. It's not the 2019 one, this is the 1999 no, one. No, I'm, yeah, I'm just reading The cursor at the things. top? Oh. Top left? That just turns me around. I'm gonna hit escape. Let's say press Control S. Control S. That's pretty. <gasps> there you go. That's, that's some old classic old computer game. That's yeah. what. You, that's how you do it. Uh, okay. All right. We're in. We're I was in. saying the 2019 forum that I found said saves automatically at points. Okay. But yeah, I wasn't sure which version they were talking about. Well, don't Ooh. worry about it. Now we got Control S going, baby. That's some old school business. All right, we can go off to the lighthouse. Oh boy! We can go back into the ship. That water looks like it might take us back. Cool, cool. Let's go off to this little. Yeah, area. yeah, I love it. Okay. All right, those are some lights. What did you do? I don't know. I'm getting it away. It's like you turned on a motorboat. Here's the lighthouse. Cool, cool. Ooh, that's a key. That's a key. Huh. That was strange. That makes it look like we need to bring a box to the key. Maybe. Do something with a water level. Oh, oh there's the, that's a keyhole. I want the key. Oh, I that's love that it goes fuzzy because there's a mini cutscene playing within it. Adorable. Okay, well, that's interesting. We can go in here or, or up there. Let's okay. go. Ooh. That's dark. Well, we can't really go in here then. This How is, long should we play? Uh, eight hours. What okay. are you talking about? This is the most fun ever. Well, it's getting late for people. It is. Okay, that's the bow of a ship. Can you click on whatever's up there? No. Okay, interesting, cool. Interesting, interesting. Can you go on this way? Mm. Oh, I hate it. Why do you hate it? Phew! <sighs> <sighs> Oops. Well, 
yeah, this is... <laughs> Looks a little annoying. It's very Especially annoying. Especially when you keep clicking out of the box. Well, that's because you have to click to the left of the box to scroll it. So I do this. <laughs> Okay, well, that's the yeah, island. We can see stuff. I don't think there's anything interesting here. Oh. No, I don't know. Oh, oh we saw something about like that bell. Okay, 135 oh. bell. Yeah, why is my nose going crazy? <laughs> okay, well, that's an island. Yeah, great, I guess. Might as well finish the full rotation. Sure. Alright. Okay. Oh, so that was just the top of the lighthouse. We could see it at 135. Yeah. Is there anything else we can do here? Maybe the angle of the lighthouse is important. I think I can't do anything in here. Um, so all we have is this block and key business. And those three lights on the other thing. Yeah. Flip. Interesting. It like pump water out of what it did. Pump water oh. out of this thing. Oh, okay, wild. It's uh, too dark. Oh, wait. No, no, turn around, turn around. There's light at the end of this tunnel. Okay, okay, okay. I don't really understand. No, nor do I. Uh, no, that is a reference to the episode to of... One of our show episodes. Yeah, one of our Escape This Podcast episodes. <laughs> oh, this room's too fancy for me. Is this the bedroom you were talking about before? Who was talking about a bedroom? That was the spoiler chat that I told you not to look at. Ah. Okay, that's a bedroom. Rifle through the drawers. Whoa. Doubloons. Diamonds. Okay. Getting a little weird. David, we done well, boyos. <laughs> All right. That's an empty drawer. A note! Well, I want to just... Oh, it's a pink page. Well, I'm just going to hold this pink page forever. I guess we're going to hold this pink page until we find a place to put it. I mean, now I've just got a pink page. Is that yeah, a... that's quite something. Let's take it back to the book. Is that what we're doing? Ooh. Okay, drugs. A knife. Should I make a note of the color? <gasps> what is that? Oh. Hmm. Yeah, should I make a note of the colors of those drugs or something? Nah. Okay. Oh, hey, come on. You spin unprompted. Oh, yeah. That's pretty weird. Ooh. 
pink sky in morning. Shepherd's morning. Oh, that was changing. That wasn't staying. This is about the sky scenes. Yeah, okay. So how long do I have to carry this page around? I say until you get back to the book. Okay. Is this kind of the red page? I don't know. So we can just go back to the island? I don't know if that's what will be happening. Well, maybe we this. can't. Hold on. Oh, you can't go in there? Apparently not. I thought oh, it was okay. So we're just holding this page for a while. All right. I guess we explore the bedroom some more. There was nothing else really. Well, there's this way as well. What's this way? This is a different way. I think so. Yeah. Oh. Can we right-click to tuck the page away? Not okay. that I can see. And do we want to know about how to stop holding the page? Does it matter that we're holding the page? If that's is if it it's something that's sorry, if it's something that's just like a control thing that would be in the manual for the book that I forgot to, for the game that I forgot to read, then yes, please tell me. But if it's like a there's some puzzle-based thing that lets us stop holding the page, then then don't tell us. But if it's just if it's just like interfacing, then yeah, please. That would be lovely. Because now I got another page. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I would love to know how to stop holding it. God damn, Janet. Is that like an inventory button? Don't just press buttons, you'll destroy us all. Oh, and this is other bedroom. <laughs> we cannot pick up another page okay. until we drop it. Well, we or know we can exchange. Okay, well, we've, we've got a red page, may as well hold on to it until sure. we get back. It's irritating that that's what our hand looks like now. Because there's no way back that I can think of, but still. Let's get there. That's a rib cage. Is this, and the, my other question is, is this going to affect the manner in which... Okay, it won't interfere with us thinking anything, think that that's perfectly fine. I'm happy to just have a page in my hand. Okay, so one brother got drugs and luxury, and one brother got shock treatment. I can set this to things. Hello, it's me. I'm a skull. I hope you've been enjoying playing my game. Do you know there are more bones in the human skull than there are in a rose? A rose has no bones. But I have at least two. Probably more. It depends on whether you think they're fused or not. <laughs> My ex-wife still misses me. But her aim is getting better. I see her. That's a map. That's, That's a, a map. map. That's a map. That's a map. That's a map. That's oop. Marcus, Sw uh, the vault is locked. The island of achieve very instructions. Each of the marker turn every one of okay. on position. The as a final step to there to the. Okay. And a map. Alright, that's interesting. A mask. Uh, thanks so much for staying with us for as long as you did. Good on you. Have a good sleep. We're doing great so far. That is interesting to know. Escape room rules have served us well. Oh, is, that, is there a secret? Oh, get out no, of here. Is this, just the is this not just the same I know, way? it probably is. I always yeah. think it's going to turn me 90 degrees and yeah, it doesn't. No. This game isn't mean. Is it not? It hasn't been mean yet. Okay, well. Screenshot that page? Really? I mean, because we'll probably find the other half somewhere else and have to put them together. I guess. It didn't look that unmemorable, but okay. I can take a photo. 
Oh, a Nancy question you've been wanting to ask? Shoot. We're doing exactly what we're supposed to do? Fantastic. Uh, yeah, if you have a Nancy question, ask away. I mean, fire away! Uh, I'll take a photo. Believe you're telling us to screenshot instead of waiting for us to fail. If I, if I watch someone stream and I know that there's a puzzle that they're going to come back to later, I feel the pain, but I also laugh when they hit that point. Alright. Were there any other secret little exits I or entrances? I didn't notice any secret stuff. Hmm. We just have to worry about this key thing, because this key is making me feel stupid. Can we go any further down the ship? I don't think it is not. Hmm. Oh, do you think we need to like overflow it? Lift the key up somehow or something? Because oh. there was water spatter in there. That's an interesting question. We've now lowered it to its lowest amount? Or? Oh, wow. Oh, we've got the water or out the exact completely. opposite. Is it a practical thing to try to speed run a game? Oh. Good question. Oh, we, look, we emptied the water out of this thing, so now it will float. Oh, okay, great. Um, speed running and Nancy stuff. Man... I feel like people do. I don't think a point and click is the sort of game that I would speed run. Because I do feel like it would just feel like, yep, clicking a lot, more buttons, woo. The problem with a Nancy Drew speed run as well that would be irritating is that um, a lot of the games have, you can't skip dialogue in the, some of the early games. Of that would make, that would be frustrating for a speed run. Look how look at this. Good job. Oh. Good, I think. So we're just doing the water temple here. Yeah, love it. Man, a key, so we can open a box, so we can get a key. Yeah, ridiculous, but I love it, actually. Yeah, I'm having fun. I'm having a grand old time. Yeah, let's keep cranking. Did we see something that needed a generator? I don't know, but we're charging this baby up. Can I take this thing? Or have I just powered something up there? Yeah, maybe something is now. Oh, powered. maybe I powered the light itself. I'm in a lighthouse. Well, maybe that's what the telescope is for, looking out at what the light is pointing to. That look lit up. I, think. I don't know if it does, but it is connected to a couple of things. Yeah. Like it's connected to the each bedrooms. Other okay, let's take a look at the bedrooms. Oh, they're now lit up. Oh, that's nice. Maybe we weren't meant to come in here in the dark. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think anything in here has changed. Should we look at all of those skies? Pink, purple. Are there more? Oh, it's, it's pink. That's the same one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I think we've just lit these places up. Well, cool. Now if there are any weird secret passages, we'll be able to see them. Not so much. I mean, look at that map. What if I do this? Yeah, Make the water high extra level. high? These are now non traversable. Mm -hmm. This is kind of how it was when we started. Mm -hmm. This water is still the same level.
Ooh, it made light happen. Not sure if we need it. To. Oh. Oh. Okay. Huh. Cool. Okay. Oh, this is so good. What a cool game. Oh, I wish I could oh, see it's a little bit. A bit better. too dark. Can we light this area up? Oh, the submersible lights. Oh, right. What did that say? Don't remember what it said about submersible lights. We saw a lights. picture that yeah. said submersible lights in one of the books. Can we change where the power is going? Didn't look like it. Oh, skip all dialogue when playing games for a first time. Terrifying. This is so interesting. What do we do? I've got to think, like... Yeah, okay. I mean... Oh, what if we put the water level lower again? That's lowest level. Yeah. So maybe it won't be as submerged. This is now oh. extra so It's like it's pumping water into here and out of the other places. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh no. That's now. Oh, that's weird. Maybe I've mistaken what these are. Maybe it's where the water is. Or where the water isn't. So, like, this is now still here and still there, but it isn't in here. Ah, right. okay. And then if you put the water to the right, it's not in the lighthouse, but yep, it's in the gotcha, other two places. Gotcha. And in here, it is in the... It's not in the boat, yeah, that but makes it's sense. in the other two places. Okay, so we've um, got to explore this boat somehow in the dark. I, you know what? I went straight to the bottom of the lighthouse and looked at the chest. I didn't look at anything else. Maybe there was something else in there? Okay. I don't think there... <laughs> well, that's just what I've now... <laughs> Sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing else down here. So is there a way to get those submersible lights on? Um, there was something we were playing with in one of the bedrooms that we never did anything with. Was there? Besides the skull. Uh, wasn't there? And the telescope, yeah, right? We've still got telescope maybe yeah i still don't know what the telescope is for yeah it wasn't showing us anything immediately helpful um hmm. okay well what else is in here there's this bed it's fancy fancy bed oh there's all this stuff and this thing I think that's just decoration. I'm glad we read all about each of the ages before coming here. Oh, for sure. Because I actually feel like I'm, in, I'm invested in this place already. Yeah. Are you cold? I'm really cold. I'm not really cold. But if you want to turn the heater on, that's fine. I would love to turn the heater on. Because we're not just married. We're friends. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, would anything else change when we change the water level? And don't click too fast. Oh, you think we've navigate. missed stuff in these tunnels? Oh, is that what you think that was saying? Oh, that, that was a picture of a square. There was a picture of a square? Yeah. What? Hmm. Wow, yeah, this is different. Okay, big old compass. What did I do? What did you do? I looked down for one second. I didn't do anything. The lights just turned off. Was that just a coincidence? We ran out of light. That was just a coincidence. I think so, yeah. Oh, hello, puppy. Is this where you want to take a break then? What? No, I'm so curious. Cool. That we can at least go for 
another 10 minutes. number of movements that you make based or something. So I definitely didn't see whatever that was. There you go. Okay. okay. Oh no, I clicked here and I've turned it off again. Ah. I guess. I just clicked the wrong thing or... Well that's interesting. Yeah, you death all up again. How strange. How interesting. Do you want to try the other tunnel? That's what I was thinking. And that's a north... Like, that's a... That's a... Um, a circle around a compass. So maybe yeah. some, maybe the telescope pointing would tell us where we need to click on that thing. I mean... I don't know, maybe. The only things we can really see on the telescope pointer are the two masts of each of the ships and the lighthouse. Mm. Alright. Nothing on those. Nothing on these. There's one here. Oh, okay, so that's the same room. Looks like it. So the question is, what does it need... Sorry. What does it need to point to? Ah, uh, you could try 135, which would be... Uh, if that's north... Ah, uh, southeast. Like here? Yeah. Okay. That that's looks a, submersible that's light. That's the light. Okay, so we think maybe we've lit up the thing now? Find out. Looks lighter. That's lit up. Oh, this is oh, it's so good. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited. Things are making sense. Ooh, oh! I'm less excited! Oh, it's a book! It's a book. Was that like, missed. Let us get back. Nice. I don't know what that one is. Now, did we just make a choice as to the written, to read all the blue It felt a bit like it, didn't it? But I mean, you wanted to choose red anyway. Oh, we're just in here. Brilliant. Alright, let's see what you've got to say, Actinidus. This is the guy you trust? Yeah, he's not actually that trustworthy, is he? On the red page. You must continue. To yeah. My name is Cirrus. Oh, Cirrus. Yeah, that's right. That one. I beg you, fine. Remain. You must. Re Yeah, you're a weirdo, Cyrus. I don't like either of you. You're both creeps. Don't waste time. Look. Don't waste time looking for the blues. Could 
have been much more succinct, man. Maybe he is, and we're just not catching those moments. Mm, I don't know, he just needs to be saying, bring me red pages over and over again. Yeah, it's just Don't bring luck. blue pages. Now, here's a question. I have a, I have a legitimate question I'd like to investigate. Mm -hmm. What happens? Can we just go straight back to that world and go grab a blue page as I, well? Yeah, that's exactly what I would like to check. the dog was coming to sit in his bed and enjoy this heater that I've turned on, but instead, he just went and grabbed an old wrapper and started eating mm -hmm. it. You are puppy. Oh, now he wants to go outside. Yeah, actinitis. Cirrus actinitis, what's the difference? Okay, so... Alright, go into the other bedroom. Let's just go grab the blue pack. Oh. oh no! Play both sides. Play both sides. Yeah, why wouldn't you play both sides? The guy said give me a red page, another guy said give me a blue page. We gotta fill up the generator and everything again, I guess. If we want to. And I say, give me both pages. I think we do need to because we'll have to turn on the lights to get down to the bottom part. So but do we need to turn on the lights for that, or do we just need the spotlight, which might still be on us? Well, we can't see that spotlight without turning the generator. I'll turn the generator. Oh, actually, yeah. How lit up is all? How done is all this? Good. I remember what I've done. Let's redo the generator. Yeah, we've seen the words. The yeah, art we've once seen before. hints to it. Like they write. And we did read them. They write these worlds into existence in a strange way, but it's kind of vague. Yeah, I love it seems it. to be a bit, sort of. Yeah, it's a little unclear on how much is their creation versus something that they've stepped into that mm. maybe someone else has created. Because it seemed like he had learned this from his father. Yes. It's all interesting. All right, so now we're going to go back in here. I'm more interested in Catherine. Apparently she's been around. Yeah. Oh no, I gotta help the dog. Oh, poor puppy. Oh. Ow. Oh, little baby, I'm sorry. we're only playing off like a half accurate mm. understanding of things right now but that's good that's the whole point yeah we're only knowing what the game has said to us so far the hints that they've given us of their world building and then we go you really like this guy more than red book I'm this is akana my brother i beg you Always blue pages. Always blue. Always blue. Now listen to my brother. He's a fool and a liar. They've got a real immersive theatre energy about them. Yeah. He's been wrongfully imprisoned. In a blue book. I will have my retribution. Oh, okay. That doesn't sound. That makes it sound like you were rightfully imprisoned. I mean, I trust neither of them at all. Yeah, let's get some green pages. Hmm. Can you guess which bedroom belongs to which brother? Yeah, I, I don't want you to answer that, but 
I mean, based on my suspicion, it, like, it really looks like Cirrus would be the one who likes skulls, and, uh, Arche Archaeus is the one who likes drugs. True, except Achena, the, it was the bed, it was the, it was the shabby bedroom that had the blue page in it. That's true. Or is it like, I stole the blue page from my brother's book, and I stole yeah, the red page no from idea. my brother's book? Like, that is true that they seem, that they match page-wise, but... Who knows? Was that this area? What area? What you... No, uh, the book about the area we were just in. That was this one. Mm -hmm. so that was the rocks. Yep, cool. I was, you know, I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules mm -hmm. as dictated to me by my father. I attempted to create a boat yeah, by yeah, riding into the world. All that stuff. Submersible yeah. lamps. Lighthouse. Light. Do we know what we're doing now? No. That was the stone ship age. So that's where we just were. And that had to do with constellations, which is why the constellations unlocked that one. Yeah. We had another key. What was the other key that we had from the tower what? rotation? Oh, that was the 240-221. No idea what that's a reference to unless... No. And that was when we were pointing it... Oh, now that we've got more things, we might have more stuff. Yes. That 242 one was from here. Yeah. We haven't been able to drag oh, these okay. things. Ah, uh, yeah, we've we got, got more, more now. now. Okay. So let's go check out what this... Or should we leave these for next time? We'll take a and stop now. No, I want to get these clues now. And then, uh... We can work on them next time. Right, so I'm not quite sure what we're looking at now. But let's find out. Going into a tower, gonna find some clues. So I'm guessing some since keys. this game is solvable in like two minutes, that there is something right here, right in front of us on this island that is actually yeah. the final key solution. Like typing a it. certain thing into the pool. Yeah. Or whatever, but yeah, we just don't know what it is yet. 724 is this key. What's that facing towards? Um, I'm not really sure, let's find out. The 242 to 1 was facing towards the gears, right? Yes. Uh, okay. What was it? Seven, oh. oh, sorry. 724. Okay. And we're looking at the tall tree. Okay. Sure. The tall tree is 724. This is fun. I'm having a really good time. You're having a wonderful time. Ah. Okay. So that was tall tray. Uh, oh, sorry. I have to go the whole way around. Oh. Zeppelin, or bomb, or rocket ship. I think it's actually a rocket ship. We haven't had any hints of this thing either. Like, I don't think. Not really. Not really. We've effectively worked out everything so far. Except that's... for click slower when you're walking Except around. for click slower, that's true. Click that's slower bad. is our biggest hint. Okay, this is 59 Nine volts. volts. Do you reckon that'll be for the substation? Yes, because the substation controls the power to the rocket ship. Hmm. Rocket ship. Well, now I want that. Oh, we got a, we got a spam bot. Oh, do we? Well, I mean, we can't get rid of it until we finish the game. Yeah, I guess you can uh, all just become sorry, famous for a while. Yep. You two have played A Link to the Past. Oh, yes. Uh, more, uh, I, I probably faintly remember the music to Link to the Past. Mm. I played, I played through a randomized version. Yeah, Danny played a randomized Link to the Past on this channel. I've very rarely played normal Link to the Past. It's mostly the randomizer versions. But yeah, that's on our YouTube if you want to watch that. Don't do the rocket first. Oh, we're about really? to do the rocket first. Our instincts absolutely tell us to do the rocket right now. Well, let's, let's, um... I mean, 
we can look at the substation and try to make 59 volts. Or we do want to look at the tall tree and see what well, First it does. of all, I want to go back to this gear and see if we have any new things. Oh, yeah, any of... input. Because we can't really input anything into no, this. No, we gear. were told, like, turn all of the things on. Were we? Remember that half note? So uh, turn all the power markers on? Yeah, that's a good point. Whatever on is. Yeah, these on or off. Hard to say. And can we get to the tall tree? And you can't tell us why without spoilers. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, is it actually the cabin? Or is it that thing? Oh, is this the- Oh, oh 724? 724. Why do we want this? Oh, we gotta light that. Oh. Do we light that? Is that change? looks lit? I mean, I'm pretty sure you lit it. Okay. Look, that's totally lit. Okay. That's the tall tree. We can't spin this for some reason. Interesting. This <laughs> thing, I mean, is that's what I'm trying. Nothing's you happening. You want us to play the first thirty seconds of a YouTube video that relates to that game? Okay. Interesting. I can't spin the wheel. There's nothing I can interact with. Oh no, are we supposed to be able to spin the wheel? So let's do something else with this match. I mean, I don't know. It seems pretty right. We are missing something. Yeah, that's fine then. No, wait. When you said we're missing something. with missing something no no uh, sorry i mean are we d do we not have something we need or is are we being dumb and we're missing something uh -oh. as if there's something here and we're not doing it don't don't no no don't give us a hint unless only like if it's a case right now of we are doing the right thing but the game is finicky and you're meant to click a very particular pixel on the object you can tell us that, right? But if it's like, we're supposed to go outside and yeah, do something Yeah, if we have any there, form of the then, wrong idea, uh, yeah. if there's something else to do, or we're not quite sure, or we're, we're interpreting it wrong, don't tell us. Hmm. But if we say like, oh, we're going to light this match, and you say, no, that's actually not lit, you have to light it five more times, or something yeah. like that. But How are we trying to turn the wheel? So it might just be that we're functionally turning the wheel wrong? I mean, left click does nothing. Holding left click and dragging does nothing. Clicking different parts? Oh, Whoa. oh okay. Great, thank you. Yeah, like uh, that. I, yeah. I thought I'd tried that, and it, apparently I hadn't. Okay. Great, that's fine. That's what I would like to know. Okay, cool. We've lit the big tree on fire. Is it doing anything? Is this PS going to go up if I keep turning the wheel? Is that a thing you can hold? Yeah, but it just does this. No, this is very open. Yeah, okay. Go outside and see if we can see anything. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, we can go up oh. the tree. Oh. Is that always true? Can't go far up the tree. Happened. You exploded the tree a little bit. Can you look up? Oh, it's full now. Oh, it's full now. Cool. Yeah. Do you think maybe it's over full? Hmm. No, we just. Sounds like we're just slowly destroying the tree. Look, that's slightly bigger, I think. 
Okay. Maybe. Maybe I'm going crazy. That just might just be a shadow. All right. Let's take like, that time is just to a shadow. destroy this tree. Yeah. Guess it's chill until the tree explodes. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna destroy you, tree. This is so strange. Can you? Can't get in yet. Maybe we need to turn off the exploding power. Or maybe we need to wait for it to go a little bit higher. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it's lifting! Yeah, I think it's lifting up. Ah. Oh. We're applying pressure beneath the tree and lifting it up. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Still be able to get across to that. Yeah, we'll figure it out. More tree movement. Uh, yeah, maybe. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe we should go in here. Maybe now's when we should stop. Yeah, maybe. Because this is exciting. Now we're good. Okay. All right. Maybe we'll leave it there for today, tonight, for those of you. Yeah. Don't. We don't want to do anything faster. Okay. Uh. So we had lots of delays and things at the start, but. But that worked out great. Hot damn! I'm having a lot of fun. I'm having. Okay. I thought. I expected. In my. It to be bit. nonsensical early nineties stuff yeah i expected in my head that this oh. was gonna be like a, an annoying game like a game where you're like ah you know it's okay but oh my gosh it's bothering me that it's not xyz but it is not that yeah i was really intimidated that I, a while ago i was saying it might be a fun idea if we raced each other at mist to see who could solve what puzzles i'm glad first. we're not doing that i'm glad we're not but i do believe we could have True. based on the looks of things and how it's going and how it, everything makes sense yeah, yeah. I, I very much reckon we could have done that. It would have been really interesting to see. Maybe we should do that for Riven. Maybe we should. Based on this, I would totally play Riven. Our follow account here is completely incorrect. Oh, no. Because we've had so many follows oh, over no. time. Look at all these follows from oh, a while ago. We are actually at 467. Oh, thank you, friends. So I should update yeah, this. Yeah, thanks to everyone who came here for Mist and didn't know us but had fun watching us get through it uh it was great yeah it was lovely to meet all you new missed people uh this will just be next week we're doing yeah. we'll do this weekly we'll come back at the same time that this started next week which is eleven thirty for us in the morning but i don't know what time that is for you i think it's nine thirty eastern standard time in the u.s maybe uh next monday so or sunday night yeah. in the u.s might have other games going on during the week who knows Hopefully. but yeah that'll be the next missed time yeah sorry <laughs> you gotta wait a week for more missed um but before that, yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'm, I keep saying this and I keep failing at it because, I don't know, I'm even busy with looking after people. But, uh, yeah, hopefully next time. Um, yeah, Bill is playing Batman Arkham Knight. There'll be more Batman Knight. Arkham Knight. We'll I still playing... want to do a Radical Red at some point, Pokemon Radical Red. We'll see how we go. We'll do some other dumb fun stuff. But, yeah, thank you so much for being here and hopefully we can see you next time. Yeah, it was lovely to see you all. Tell friends, be like, hey, hey, missed. We go to the missed subreddit. Be like, hey. I think someone may have. Hey, you missed people. I, oh, that's fine. While you were out of the room contacting Strata. Uh, go and <laughs> go Oops, and tell sorry. everybody about our. Oh, you finish off the blind Pokemon. Yeah, I should do that. You're right. It's gonna be a pain though because I don't remember anything. Oh, I don't yeah. know who my There's team no is. There's no way you've left that way too long. There's no way you and can get back into it. And that's the YouTube you want us to watch. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. We will do that as soon as we have finished. Unless you probably want us to. All right, we'll open it now. I won't watch it on stream because I don't think you should... 16 minutes. Ah. Oh, the Legend of Zelda sweet. That's fun. Oh, that's nice. We've had people come to uh, Sydney and do those sorts of performances here. They're lovely. Mm. Yeah, they're so nice. Man, only 16 minutes. We'd play hours of that and have that as just background noise throughout the day. Yeah, I can bring back the blind Pokemon. I'll try. I'm up to the last gym, which is something, but I'm pretty sure last time I opened the game, I took, like, months ago now, I took a sneaky look at my Pokemon because I was thinking of going back to it, but then I didn't remember who any of them were, and they were all, like, level 30, even though I was up to the last gym, and that made me panic. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. It was great fun. We are That's loving Mist. Right, we'll put that on. I'm yeah. really just legitimately okay. loving Mist. It's got a I'm great a really air. Good it's got a time. great I feel like, yeah, I thought it was going to not be that good, but it's fantastic. So. It's doing exactly the right level of minimalism storytelling-wise. Mm. Like, it's giving us everything without trying too hard. Yeah, I love it. We'll be back really next week for it. more Mist. Hopefully some other streams throughout the week. 
Uh, and uh, but not missed streams. Deal with it, losers. <laughs> Toxic. Um, brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you um, very much. If you're new here. to us and you don't know who we are, you should go check out our, our shows. We have um, yeah, uh, two po- podcasts that we make. Uh, one called Escape This Podcast, where we have people play through escape rooms that we design as like tabletop role playing. And by I say we, I mean Danny. Uh, and uh, and uh, we just have a show called Solve This Murder, where I try and solve murder mysteries that Danny puts together. So go check those out if you haven't. If you if you're if this is your first interaction with us as human beings, um, I'm glad that we're enjoying it too because I know this has a big following. Uh, this game, obviously, one of the biggest game followings that exists. That's and true. I mean, yeah, why not? Oh. Seriously, it's, like, it's made into Trivial Pursuit. It's one of the most well-known games. It's a very, games. very, very big game. And yeah, people love it. And I'm glad that we don't have to be weirdly contrarian about this. It's just really good. Yeah, that is nice. Sometimes things are very popular and you're like, actually, they're terrible. <laughs> um, There's a missed convention. Well, go to the missed con and tell them to listen oh. to Escape This Podcast. Ridiculous. And yes, uh, or is that or me, Jen, as in, or sometimes you create the rooms? Yes, uh, our most recent episode, because we're doing fan-created rooms, uh, Jen, who is Imperius or in the chat, uh, wrote and ran, ran the room for us. Um, for a third time? For a third, third time. One? All right, we're going to go. See you later, Mysterious. everybody. It was lovely to hang out. That's hilarious. And oh, yeah, man. if there's a misconvention, one of the biggest games. Yep, I like Mist. I'm a Mist fan now. Yeah, for sure. I'm so happy. We're going to have to play Riven, the sequel to Mist. I know. And we're going to have raced each other. There's a Mist MMO. Ooh, that's interesting. That's wild. Ah, oh, we're getting into this new world. This All right, everybody. Fandom. All right. Have a great evening if it is evening for you. Great day if it's great day. Just have a good week in general. Will we play Abduction? We've got Abduction. We've, We've got abduction. played like, some amount of it. We had a headache on the day that we played it. Both of us had yeah, a so maybe shared that headache. Us, but I gotta tell so you, we were in an annoyed mood. Did not get into Abduction very quickly. It was, got into Mist very quickly. It was fine. It's not as good as Mist. Yeah, Mist is better than Abduction. Deal with it. Losers. <laughs> Toxic. But yeah, maybe at some point, because I don't know how far we got through Abduction. Maybe. But we'll give ourselves time to forget it, and then maybe we'll get Yeah, we'll go Mist, Riven, Abduction. Maybe. That'll We've got be. lots of puzzle games. Alright, bye buddy! Be toxic!